Happy Friday. Welcome. Uh, let me smidge that down. Hi. And Miss Bear, hello. Hey, welcome. Hey. You I did, Brett. I watched it. It was good. Thank you. She sure did. She's a good singing voice. Racy play new game day one stream. I know. Doesn't have to go. That's too quiet. Um, the smidge. Uh, I miss wide chat. Same. It's time for war. Uh, we're gonna hop into the battle. Uh, this came up today. Uh, we're gonna check it out. Um, it is gonna be a, a slightly shorter stream. I'm thinking like three-ish hours, uh, just to give you advance heads up. It's not gonna be full-length string, but it should be enough time to run around a little bit, look at some cool little tanks and stuff. So yeah, so much, th so much thrill to be had. Was that a pun? Everything I say is a pun. Advanced Wars notice. There you go. <laughs> yes, it finally came out. It is a nice con. Yeah. Advanced. You're, you're welcome. Um. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna check it out. Um. And it's fortunate for me because I'm really bad at any kind of a strategy game, especially on stream. So hopefully by the time I have to end stream, we'll be like getting out of tutorial, and I'll have to actually think for myself and I'll be like goodbye. 
because I did play the original back in the day. I don't know if I ever beat it, but um, I remember liking it, but definitely having some missions where I would have to retry it because I fucked everything up. So, found alive in Miami, don't sell out. Advanced Wars, thing. these games are hard for me. They, they, they are not, e I mean, they seem like they should be easy. <laughs> I didn't find it to be easy after a certain point, but they're very charming and I'm, I'm glad it's finally out. Uh, the art looks super cute. I'm excited to check it out. Heed not the rabble who scream. Noise pollution is not a big deal. They are wrong. Blood from your eardrums think... is not what I'd call fun. Put your fingers in your ears. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Happy nice. weekend, almost. Thank you very much. Uh, let me read out some of these alerts get caught up so we can hop into the video game thank you more like advanced was you know what's fun is i was watching the um digital foundry breakdown of of this game um like performance and stuff like that i i so i knew that there'd been japan only versions of this game before i i, I, I it seems obvious because Advance Wars was on the Game Boy Advance. It was the first one that released anywhere outside of Japan. But the first one was on the Famicom. was called Famicom Wars. And then they had, like, another one, I think, on the Super Famicom. It was called, like, Super Famicom Wars. And it was like, oh. That makes way more sense <laughs> than Famicom Wars. Yeah. Uh, they were, like, breaking down the, the, the history of the games. And I was like, yeah, no, I... I... It makes... I mean, as a remake, I understand, I understand them calling it Advance Wars 1 and 2. But I'm like, if they made a new one, would they call it Switch Wars? They'd probably just call it Advance Wars at this point. Huh? But it's kind of fun. Probably my favorite portable game. It's super charming. And I, 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 I've I, seen a lot of takes, like in the Digital Foundry video I was watching. They, they had their criticisms of the art. From what I've seen, I mean, I'll see how I feel once I'm in the game. I, I think that the, the remastered art, the remade art, is, is very charming. I like it a lot. Um, there's something about the original pixel art, man. It's so good. The pixel art in the original game is so good. They've been having some struggles making Unity games for some reason. Huh, interesting. Yeah, I wonder if they're using maybe some kind of middleware or something. Because because Unity can be bumpy no matter what. Yeah, they, they implied in their video that like any Unity game on the Switch is going to have a bad time. So it could be some fundamental engine stuff. But, yeah. It's called Nintendo Wars. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was just talking about. Advance Wars has changed. A lot of games during that time. Yeah, the, the GBA was like kind of a golden era of sprite work. Cause, cause it was, it was, it was beefier than a Super Nintendo in some regards, is my understanding. Similar resolution, but a widescreen display, ish, um, and just like at that point, you know, teams were very comfortable with different methods of generating sprite work. So it was just like some real good stuff on there, tasty sprites, especially if if you know you were like me with an original GBA that didn't have a backlight or a front light, and uh, but listen, I. I my first handheld was the the DMG Game Boy, the brick. So, at that point, I was I was not expecting a built-in light. It was revolutionary. When I first saw a friend's GBA SP, I was like, "This changes that you can do this." Like, yeah, I'd seen other handhelds do it, but not Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, I got a worm light for the Game Boy GBA. What is DMG Dot Matrix Graphics? I think. It's just a shorthand of, of saying original Game Boy, uh, DMG Game Boy, me meaning the model number was DMG01. Dot Matrix Game. Okay. That's what Nintendo used to describe the screen in 1980-whatever? Huh. Dot Matrix game. Yeah, okay. Um, anyway. That's fine. Uh, yeah. No, I never got a micro. I mean, I had I had my, my GBA. That carried me through that entire generation. I had the original GBA and then the original DS. It wasn't until the 3DS where I eventually upgraded to a new 3DS XL. That's the first time I ever got, like, more than one uh, iteration of the hardware within a generation. But micro looks super cute. I'll always remember the, the reveal of it. I think it was Reggie, all right? Eddie 3 was just like, boop, and just, it's so small. And you're like, <laughs> it's like the size of the cartridge. It's absurd. Um, it was, that was very near the end of the GBA's life cycle. I think that was like right when the DS was announced. So, the old DS was good. 
No, I never had an SP. No. No, it's somewhere on the shelf back there. In a bag. I stole my original Game Boy and stuff. Anyway, uh, let me read Flirts. Nostalgia is a hell of a drug, but I needed. Well, we're about to partake in a lot of nostalgia, so it's fine. There's a point. A point of there. Every time I point, I'm scared. Um. First of all, uh, Advance Wars 2 Black Hole Rising was recommended I streamed by Jeffrey P. Like, three years ago. So thank you, Jeffrey. Um, I'm probably not going to be playing any of Advance Wars 2, but it's in here. I hope you're excited for this to be out. You can revisit it. Appreciate it. Thank you. I figured it would make sense to start with the first one. And start by start, I mean that's probably what stream is going to be, is me doing the first mission. And be like, well, goodbye. Uh, start with the second one. Yeah, right? Why not? Surely they won't assume you have knowledge already going in. The Wii U GBA ports, right? It would be funny. Uh, fill the headset. Thanks for 54 months. Enjoy your key card. Diddles. Oh, we dancing today. Diddles. Hell yeah. Well, this, this port was done by Way Forward, so I thought starting with some Way Forward music. Always a good time. Uh, thank you so much. Darren Forrest, thanks for 16 months. That means my sub baby is seven months old. Oh. Teaching your kid about war at a half year old is a normal American thing, right? You're waiting till they're half a year old to tell them? Gotta start sooner than that. Thanks, Darren. Top goal. Thanks for seven months. We fighting for our friends. I fight for my friends. Genaris919. Thanks for the prime. Hello. Hope you enjoy the emotes. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. Enjoy your crayon scribbling of a key. J Light of the Dead. Thank you for 50 months. Thank you. Welcome back. Thanks for the prime. Consolo. Five gifted subs. To Zinric2, Lupigla, Siniakal, Hungry for Toast, and Apzen. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Space and Love, thanks for three months. Enjoy your silver key. Barsting Onsta Bra. That's a powerful combo. Onsta Bra with a sword. Get some coffee, Onsta. Get some coffee. Read them Dr. Seuss's The Butter Battle Book. Mm. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm. All right. Here I go, a stab it. Hollow Newt, thanks for 21 months. Welcome back. Thank you. JC Maxwell, thanks for two. Time for the cutest possible war. Yeah. They did a lot to make it real cute. <laughs> uh, the Doctor. Oh, whoa. Thanks for two months. Thanks for the Prime. Welcome back. Hope you enjoy your bronze key. Not a sadist. Thank you for the hammy. This is probably, possibly, my fave childhood game. I'm so happy. Time to go to war. <laughs> I'm so happy to go to war. Thank you. Shambling Mountain, thanks for 69 bits. My partner worked on this game. Fuck yeah. I hope they're happy for it to finally see the light of day. Uh, that's really cool. I'm assuming they work for a way forward, but maybe somewhere. I'm sure with any game this size, many teams of people work on it. Thank you, though. Smash Rat, thanks for 96 bits. Every time I think about the first two Advanced Wars games, I think of this awkward zombie comic. Uh... Uh, yeah. 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 Great day for a battle. Sure is. After this fight, want to go for ice cream? Yeah. Fist pound. And then it's... It's war, baby. <laughs> yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it. Thank you. Uh, Not rainy mounts. It's 41, 41 months. I was so lost when I got a stream notification because I thought today was Wednesday. I don't have a spare functional sense of time I could borrow. No. No, the only thing that I have to help me keep track of the days is stream my stream schedule, and even then I get confused. Or sometimes I have a stream and I'm like, am I streaming tomorrow? Thursday is the only day I stream where I stream the next day, and I'll still be like, what day is it? Anyway, thank you. War is hell. War is hell with ice cream, but at least if there's ice cream, then there's ice cream, you know? It's advanced. VJ Bots, thanks for 26 months. You telling me war just got advanced? Yeah, but as, as advanced as the GBA, so don't expect too much. Integral, thank you for 23. Where's the Fire Emblem? Wait, wrong SRPG. No. Yeah. I, I, I did see... Someone reviewed this game and was like, I wish they fleshed out the characters more and made it more like Fire Emblem. And as someone who played Advanced Wars far in advance of ever really looking at Fire Emblem, I'm like, that, that 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 seems like a weird... <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that take. I understand if you're coming from Fire Emblem to Advanced Wars, feeling like that part of the game is missing. I get that. But I don't know if Advanced Wars would be made better if you could, like, date your other... date the other commanding officers. I mean, maybe. May, maybe that would be funny as, like, a joke. 
fun. We, uh, that's like what Fire Emblem has that makes it unique in the space. I, 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 as far as I know, I've never really gotten into Fire Emblem, uh, but let me date the tank. I want to hook up my, my tank with my artillery cannon. I want them to, want them to kiss. Come on. That'd be a downgrade. It'd be good. Court martialed for fraternization. Yeah. But it'd be funny. Then start to the 3DS games. Really? Yeah, because I know the old, old Fire Emblems didn't have it. I didn't know when exactly. Advanced shipping! Not advanced... Get... No, advanced wars? No, no, no. Advanced love. Blooming on a battlefield? Yes, yes, yes. Now that I could... Now that I could get into. I want to make the planes sex. Where do you think planes come from? When two fighter jets love each other very much and are parked in the same hangar... Anyway. Frisky Dingus, thank you for 32 months. Thanks for the Prime. Welcome back. Jacqueline Spud, I come to relive my high school days on this game. I hope it goes well. Thank you. Let's hop in. Already. Thank you. Uh, They meet in the air. It's nature's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I love that song's called Whoa, I'm in Space Cuba. That is always fun. Uh, This is a video game. And I'm going to play it. And we're going to have a good time. Uh, let's go. Uh, universal, thank you. What the hell? Three gifted subs to Michaelomaniac, Johnny Spud, and Carl Hungus. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hope y'all doing good. Thank you. Uh, uh I want to start the game on stream because my understanding is that there's a, a, an opening, which presumably I could see again by waiting on the title screen or something. Oh, uh, look at that guy going. Yeah, he's... Short stream time. Well, it's going to be a shorter stream, so I'm trying to, you know, get to the action. There we go. I love the void. Andy! There he is. He's so beautiful. Good work. Ready for war? <laughs> yeah. My ass. Sammy. Big button. Agents are go. That's cute as hell. Yeah, woo! Who's driving the tank? Uh, they're, 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 it's like a Flintstone situation. They're using their feet at the bottom. Just can't see it from certain angles. Get in the tank, you fucks! Yeah, I, I saw the... Uh, so I, I bought the game physical because I'm, you know, old. Um, and uh, I, I went to, to, to GameStop. And I was like, do you have Advanced Wars? And he was like, what's your phone number? And I was like, I didn't pre-order. He's like, oh, we'll see. They had two copies. <laughs> They were not pre-ordered. I was like, shit. So I got locked out. Um, but it's got a, a reversible cover. And the, the inverse seems to be based off the second game. Shit. And it's fucking... So the, the main... The, you know, that's like the same art as on the thing, whatever. But I'm like, look at that. Look at this. Look at this. This is fucking great. Looks real cool. I don't know how well you can see that in my tiny little webcam screen. But yeah. Base or Black Horizon. That's neat. It's cute. Anyway, uh, I like when games have reversible covers like that. Sir Dan, thank you for the raid. We're just getting started. Uh, hello. I don't know there. Uh, yeah. Meh. Now I gotta make sure it's straight in the plastic. There you go. All right. Part two spoilers. I know. How dare they? Uh. Thank you for the bit smash, Matt Sir Dan. Thank you for the raid and Mr. Max Mariner. Thank you for gifting a sub to Franz Kafka. Franz. Welcome back. Uh, let's go. Let's go to war. It's Nell. Welcome to Advance Wars 1 plus 2. They could have just said 3. Why do they guys say 1 plus? I know what 1 plus 2 is. 
It's weirding me out. I mean, it always had a very cartoony style for the, the COs. I don't know. I see it. One plus two is four. Oh, my bad. They should've just called it four. Reboot camp. You must be buried. I forgot that your name is on your profile. I was like, how does she know? <laughs> how, how did it's become self-aware? They spent the last year putting chat GPT in here. It's an honor to meet you. My name's now. Oh, she said that part. I'm a CO in the Orange Star Army. Why is this voice? Okay, that's fine. Say, is this your first time playing Advanced Wars? Uh, it's, n no, but it's been 20 years. Is that, that should be a third option. She can't say your name. No, but she could have said the line at the beginning. Her hair looks a little weird. Her hair looks like a bean. Like if you like if you removed her and just had the hair floating. Be like a bean. Um Why not advance? Why not advance? I'm going to say it's my first time just cuz I probably need a refresh. Yeah, splendid. Let me give you a quick rundown of a few modes. Oh. No criticism of Nell. Versus this for multiplayer. Okay, this has not. This is like, do you know what a video game is? Uh, play four players, no console copy, you can play wirelessly. Neat. It refreshes your memory anyway, even if you say no. Great. Her hair looks like a mitten grabbing her head. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. It does kind of. Yeah. No, I, I see what you. It's like a thumb up on top. Yeah. She's being grabbed. <laughs> Who has big yellow gloves like that? Gutsman? She's being grabbed by Gutsman. Uh, there's also the main gameplay mode campaign. The story of wars world will unfold as you battle against rival cleaning officers. I'll tell you about some other modes soon. But it's time for basic training. Sure. Step by step, you know, also you guys make sure you're playing close attention. It's Pac-Man without his gloves. Bunch of bananas. Nice. Do not hold your CEO. Hold, hold her like the meme of holding the rat. Why not? Why not do that? It's like campaign. See you there. I could do that. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Campaign. Campagna. Oh, you have to do... Or if I said I'd played it before, would they let me immediately jump into... Oh, it's fine. I wanted to start with one anyway. Because I don't remember. I mean, you move a guy onto a thing and he stomps on the building and then you win. It's easy. It's easy game. Casual or classic? Let's go classic. I'm gonna regret that. <laughs> Shit. Can you do war crimes in this? All day, every day. Oh. Blue moon, green earth, capital city, gold comet. We're all gonna die, yeah. Well, you're not in my army, are you? I hope not. We'll go over the basics of CQC, I mean troop movement, and attack controls in this training mission. Cool. You drafted? I, well, uh, oops. Everyone that subscribed, I have terrible news. <laughs> you probably should have read that fine print, uh, when you, when you subscribed to stream. But I was gifted a sub. Same rules apply. Sorry about that. Um, you know. All right, let's get started. I, I really, I wish this had lip sync the animation. So she's like, all right, let's get started. <laughs> like, like, that's what she's saying. I don't know why that tickled me so. We'll begin with the simple training mission. Yeah. Take a look at these. They're under your command. Blue unit's enemy. Yeah. Ready to serve, commander. Oh, God. Nelstein rules. Why can I see Twitch doing this? The year is 2087. The streamer wars have gotten more intense. The blue unit's enemy. If you're colorblind, good luck. Uh, and this marker here, this is your cursor. Move the cursor on. You'll use it to give your units commands. See unit in from our. Yeah, I press A to select them. When you select a unit, the area around it becomes highlighted. This shows you selected units' range of movement. Order your unit to approach the enemy. Move the cursor here. Press off. After unit moves, the command menu will appear. The unit only thing this unit can do now is wait. Select wait. Press A to confirm. Did you see what happened to your unit? Its colors turned darker. That means this unit can't receive any more orders. Don't worry, you'll be able to use it again on your next turn. Now select the next infantry. I've circled it here. E. Yes, 
See how the enemy, enemy unit's face has a red highlight, that means it's within attack range. Since infantry are direct combat units, you need to be adjacent to your target to attack. Move your unit next to the enemy so we can fire away. Great job. Select fire and target the enemy unit. Bam. Get his ass! Get him! Blow him up! It is just like how I remember. Nice work. Look at her jamming. You did some damage to your enemy. You took some counter fire, but since you initiated the attack, your unit fared better. When you finish giving orders, it's time to end your turn. Press A on an empty space to display the map menu. Map menu provides all the information choices you need in order to enhance your playing experience. Select end turn to continue with the lesson. Go ahead and do that now. The online play? Uh, she said you can play wirelessly with friends if everyone has the game. They didn't say online. Maybe it says on the box. Uh, head to head against friends online. It does say online. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's not horrendous. Because <laughs> uh, I, I don't have it. I mean, it's way forward. So I have more confidence than if it was pure first part Nintendo. But uh, I don't know. I'll never understand how Club 52 games, whatever, Clubhouse games how it lags when another player is going through their cards. There's no reason why you need to sync game states with someone's ch So it should just be like, okay, they do their turn, it gets sent off. It's an asynchronous game. I don't, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, no, it's bad. It's real bad. It's your turn again. Hang on a second. Do you see these numbers on the units? That's their HP. You can play online with people on your friends list only. You can't play against randos. It's a very Nintendo thing. It's like, I get it. I'm sure there'll be online communities that'll be like, you know, swapping friend codes or whatever to play online, but yeah, it'd be nice if there was a matchmaking option. The Karbaka, the arena, yeah. When they first revealed it, something I immediately noticed, that they, they're clearly presenting it as like a war game, in-game, where there's a border and it's like, abstracted a bit. It's very toy-like. Yeah. But I don't have any friends! Just gotta find like a Discord or a Reddit or something. I don't know. You can only war with people you know. Mm -hmm. Her doctor, girlfriend, slash first lady outfit. That is a good breakdown. All units begin with 10 HP to take damage in battle. HP decrease when they reach zero advantages. Notice your unit has more HP than the enemy. The unit that attacks first has the advantage. That's why you should pick your battles carefully and try to fire first. Units also lose their firepower when they get damaged. Better to fire on the enemy with this undamaged unit. Select yours for now. Well, I, well, she didn't like that. Commander. Whoa! Did you know there's an easier way to give attack orders if I may? I'd like to show you. Sir, get, this insubordination will not stand. Star Troop. See that highlighted enemy units within attack range so we can use quick fire. Select the enemy unit directly. And you move an attack. Thanks. I don't remember if that was a thing. What I do remember is uh, underneath the the the... When you're in battle, or when you're seeing the battle play out, and it shows you their, their, their defense ranking. I remember in the original game that being a smudge of pixels, so it's very nice having these, like, very clean stars. Like, you, you could read it, you can know what it said. But it was just, like, a lot of information in a very small amount of pixels. Anyway, uh, since you defeated the enemy unit, notice that you didn't even take any damage, I call that a win-win! Congrats, you've completed your first fuel training lesson. I'm so proud of you. Lesson? I'm ready! Let's go. Speaking out of turns, soldier. Minimum casualties. Only a couple people died in our first tutorial. The next lesson will teach you how to capture cities and use terrain for defensive cover. Oh yeah, now it's a game. Now it's a real game. Send me a money. I don't want to go to war, but then your CEO looks like this. Send me to hell, ma'am. Ah. Day one. Hmm? Looks like the enemy has deployed a mech, or mechanized infantry unit. Okay. I thought they were gonna have Gundams and Metal Gears walk around, but it's a guy with a bazooka. We're okay. These units are tougher, can deal serious damage to vehicles. Lucky for you, I planned for this. Gave you a mech of your own to practice with. Infantry may not be able to defeat a mech in direct combat. You'll want to use the terrain for defensive cover. We'll start by teaching how to capture cities. Select this guy. Alright. 
Yeah, neutral cities are gray. They change to match your army's color when you capture them. Yeah, thank you. Using Blue Moon POWs? Yeah, that's a war crime. War crimes at the jump. Uh, they change the match your armies come when you capture them. Capture these is vital to your success. Attempt to capture and control as many cities as you can. Don't worry about the citizens. They live there. They're, they like it. Please move your unit to the city. Select capture. Stomp on them! Yeah, there you go. It's partially captured. It'll take a bit more time to capture completely. Only your foot soldiers, infantry, and mech units can capture a city. You can't bulldoze it with a tank. Each turn a unit spends capturing a city lowers the city's capture number by that unit's current HP. Be careful not to move a unit that's in the process of capturing a city. You'll have to restart capturing all over again. Same is true if the capturing unit loses HP before the city is fully captured. Protect units that are trying to secure new bases. They're vulnerable during that process. There you. Meh. I didn't. Now move them here and begin to capture this one too. Similar to Civ. Nice work. Kinda? It's much more like of a binary thing in this game. It's just like, did you do this? Yes. It's not a whole lot of, I don't know. But I think of Civ, I think of like fuzzy things. But select this guy. What about him? Murder? Now do murder, commit a murder. Hey, wanna hear a tip? You can speed things up by holding ZR. Give it a try when you fire on that enemy. Make it fast. Oh yeah. Pachoo. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Oh F, that's an anti-tank rifle. Select this infantry unit. Yeah. Uh oh, mountains. Yes. Notice anything different? So the movement's cost is double in mountains. Such terrain offers defensive advantages that compensate for the extra movement cost. You understand better once you fire on the enemy. Go ahead, engage and fire. Blow them up. Pachoo. Counter invading Blue Moon. This enemy unit took less damage than the first one you attacked. That's because of another terrain feature called Defensive Cover. Defensive Cover in the mountains is the number shown here. Yeah, a four in this case. Defensive Cover on the plains is a one. Higher Defensive Cover rating, the less damage the defending unit will take. Does that make sense? Great. Now please end your turn by press A and end turn. Use elephants to cross mountainous terrain. That'd be rad. No! Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, do not. Don't do that. Oh, God. Jeebus. I don't like that the enemy gets a turn. That seems kind of cheap. It feels like I should just get the go, at least. Yeah! Take that. There are people in that city, and... They're not a unit I can send to war. Pachow, pachow. That's nice you can fast forward. That is appreciated. Mech units really pack a punch, don't they? Luckily, even a neutral city still provides defensive cover. Another thing. Movement cost differs between unit types. Mech unit could move only two spaces, but wasn't slowed by mountain terrain. Whatever you need info like this, place the cursor, whatever you want to learn about, press ZR. Easy peasy. This works for terrain features as well as for unit types. Knowledge is power. Advance Wars. It's a good idea to order units to capture at the start of your turn. You be sure you won't forget to give the order. Just like this guy. A completely healthy trooper can capture a city in two turns. Have him stay put and get it done. Yeah. Great work. This is your city now. Not a war crime. Well, notice how it changes color to match your army. It's like this wounded mech unit. Because this unit took damage in the last round, it'll take a bit longer to capture. Keep that in mind as you defend your troops. Since he was hurt, it can lower the capture number only by its current HP, leaving it vulnerable to another attack. Let's attack this enemy mech unit instead. You get him! You get, you get him! Blow him up! Pachow! Whew! Fake mobile game ads? <laughs> I see what you mean. I mean, it's a very close match to the original sprite work. It just has a little 3D guy instead. Why don't you finish this training while I prepare the next lesson? All you have to do is defeat all enemy units. Well, that's easy. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna fight this guy. Right? Get him! Ooh! Nice. And, um... And you... 
blow this guy up. Hooray! A murder has been committed. Uh, that... Willful students. No downtime. I don't know what that means. Uh, enter. Remember, leave no survivors. No! No! Yeah, get him. <laughs> Quite, it's it's almost funny at fast forward. Just they go they just go blasting off. Okay. Likes dislikes ah. Uh, likes willful students dislikes downtime. Mhm. Mm no weak points. This issue is born under a lucky star. Nell's units may randomly strike with up to plus twenty to firepower. Well, that's nice. Uh. Capture. Yeah. Whoa. Probably should have just attacked, but you know. It's my goal to try to fail a tutorial. Red. There's an option. Is there an option to turn on Gore? There should be. War as hell. This isn't a game. Her luck is actually busted. Sounds busted. He's not even attacking. He's just like, uh, maybe we can be friends. Something kind of sad about him not even bothering to attack on his turn. Mm. I hope you have a better understanding of terrain defenses and capture techniques now. Focus on the strategies to tell you so far. Use them well and victory will be yours. I'm sure of it. Yay. Yatta. Can you not fail? Mm, you probably can fail. This lesson will teach you everything else you need to succeed in combat. Repair and transport. Yeah, that's a big part of the game. Repair and transport, port, port, port. I will commit any war crime for you, Nell. Okay, but I won't defend you in fucking court. Looks like the enemy has surprised our forces and damaged these tank units. Don't worry, I'll teach you how to even the odds. We need to repair them in order to have any hope of winning here. This unit is badly damaged and out of ammo. Let's patch it up. Select this tank unit first, please. To repair a unit, move it to any city or building that you control, even HQ. This is the only city in range, please move me out. Oh, I'm red. Yeah, you go there. Great job. This tank unit will now recover 2 HP for every turn it remains here. That tank won't have a chance to recover, we can't stop the enemy tanks from reaching it. Oh dear. And your other tanks aren't in great shape either. Luckily, there's a way to regain HP and block the bridge at the same time. I'll show you how. It's like this tank unit. Now move the tank to this spot in front of the bridge so only one unit can reach and attack it at a time. Since enemy units can't move over opposing units, we can use the tank to block this bridge. It's called building a defensive wall. That tank won't last long in its current state. Select this other tank and I'll show you how to join them. Great. Now if you move this tank directly onto your other damaged tank, they'll be merged. Merge. Move your tank here and select join. Now they're holding hands. <laughs> See, there is dating in Advanced Wars. It's just like Fire Emblem. Your tank is fully repaired. Excellent work. When two units join, they combine their HP. Of course, there's only one unit now. Sometimes that's better than two damaged ones. I know two units may seem better than one strategically, but running around with low HP is very risky for most units. Remember, damaged units deal less damage when attacking. Now your repaired single tank will be able to hold the bridge. And while that happens, your damaged tank can be repaired. When you join two units, it ends their turn. Make sure you anticipate that. You're really starting to understand the strategies of war. I have just a few more things to teach you. It's great to see that we have an artillery unit, but there's a problem. It's out of ammo. It's almost out of fuel, too. Yikes. That unit can't fire without ammo, can't move without fuel in its current condition. It's practically useless. Lucky for us, we have some transport units available. Let me show you how to use them. These transport units are called Armored Personnel Carriers, or APC for short. Select this APC first. Now to make an artillery unit usable, we need to move an APC adjacent to give it supplies. Move it here and select supply. Great job. When you supply a unit, you fill its ammo and fuel to the max. This time we give supplies to only one unit. APC units can also provide supplies to any other adjacent units simultaneously. You can supply units by placing them in allied buildings where they'll also heal. Transport units are best used when you're on the move. Now that the artillery unit is ready, let's go ahead and use it. Select it now. They're indirect fire units, that means they can fire from a far distance without fear of counter fire. They can't move and fire at the same turn, but the range of an artillery unit is two to three spaces. Well, don't you know, it looks like we have a target within that range. 
Fire. Kaboom. APC adjacent. This is more in-depth than Fire Emblem. Or is this just healing? Well, there's there's mm -hmm. their health, their fuel, and their ammo. And, yeah, you gotta... I don't know. I don't know that much about Fire Emblem, but it's fine. Careful placement of indirect fire units is vital to winning battles. Try to keep enemy units from engaging them directly. You will succeed. There are ways to win, too. See these buildings? They are the headquarters for each army. We'll call them HQs for short. If you capture the enemy HQ, you'll instantly win the battle. Be careful, though. The same rule applies if the enemy captures your HQ. Make sure to keep it safe. It seems like the enemy wandered too far from their HQ and left us an opening. Your mech unit won't reach it in time to capture it. That's where having a second APC gives us the edge. Select this mech unit and load it into the APC. Load a mech or infantry unit to any transport unit by moving them onto the same space. You move here, select load. Load! It makes sense that that's a chair with an arrow. I think I always thought that that was like a tank with an arrow. Because again, that was like three pixels tall on the GBA. All right. Great. You've loaded the mech unit inside a transport unit. Time to roll out. Let's select this loaded APC next. Transport troops will provide you with extra distance you need. Move right next to that HQ. You could wait here and the mech unit wouldn't take damage while inside the APC. The APC happens to get destroyed. Both units will be lost. Right now we want to capture the enemy HQ. Let's select drop from the menu. Now place the mech unit onto the HQ. There you go. Now you have a healthy unit on your enemy's HQ. You can begin to capture on your next turn. He's in place. Your tank is set up a defensive wall and your artillery is fully supplied. You're doing great. Focus on capturing the HQ. Protect that bridge. End turn and finish up. This should be an easy victory for you. It's going to be fine, right? It's going to be fine. I literally never thought about that shape was really right, Todd. How you doing? What's up? Do, 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 do. Supply up. You get a capturing. Stomp on him. And uh, you can capound. Yeah, the border's cardboard. On some of the other maps, it's like different materials. I think it's just because for the training round. Uh, yeah, we'll wait here. Come here. End turn. Hey, I still always attack ABCs. Oh, is that a high priority for them? Hello. I see you've come to tussle. Give me your bridge. Ah! No, that's good, though. It's good. See, cause they can't, they can't do a shit. I'm good, busy. I feel that time. And I win the game. All right. Culture victory. Congratulations. You're ready to take on anything Wars World can throw at you. Just in time too. I'm getting reports that enemy forces have invaded Orange Star. One last thing to remember, keep an eye on your stats, but luck plays a small part in every battle. Keep this in mind, I know you'll do us proud. See you around. So no matter how well you do, you might just lose anyway. Great! Thank Dragon Ball? Graduated just in time. Phew! Well done. With that, your field training is now complete. Congratulations. How was it? You feel like you got the hang of everything? Don't worry too much if you feel like there's still things you don't know. As you take on missions, I'll be around to teach you along the way. Looks like we're ready to get started with the story. Oh boy. Now it's the real tutorial, the prologue. The skirmishes between two neighboring countries, Orange Star and Blue Moon, were thought to have been merely stories of the past. That is, until the day Blue Moon attacked without warning. Barry, I will guide the commanding officers of Orange Star in defending their territory and fight to uncover the motive behind the sudden ambush. Our story now begins with Nell, Commander-in-Chief of Orange Star, as she trains a new recruit. Time to crime. Let's go scamping. Andy, wake up. This isn't the time to be lazing a boot. Oh, uh, I'm up. What's the drill this time? <sighs> no drill, we've got a real situation. It's that madman, Olaf. 
uh, that is. I mean, it's the Commander-in-Chief of Blue Moon. Our intel indicates he's ordered an invasion of Orange Star. Blue Moon? I thought they were just the beer company. I, I mean, I thought they were through the being the bad guys. We assigned the recon team to investigate, but they just sent word that Blue Moon now holds Coral Fortress. We can't afford to lose that territory. Oh, yeah! Right on! I finally get to do something! I'm gonna lead the way and save the day! Can't wait to see some action! Oh no, you don't. Not yet, anyway. You need to listen and learn first. Our top priority is rescuing Coral Fortress for Orange Star. Watch closely, okay? Let's go. Also, don't be excited. This is hell. War is hell. There he is! Oh my god. Olaf has occupied Coral Fortress with a prized unit in tow. Take this opportunity to show any of the ropes and tanks. Wait, they, they invaded from Blue Moon? And got all the fucking way to here before we launched the counteroffensive. That's rough. That's rough, buddy. Okay. All right. V2 Barola. Tank ops. Oh, maybe they invaded by sea. It's called a boat. They got boats. I don't see any boats. Hmm. A medium tank! Olaf means business. Even with all our units, we'll need an airtight strategy to win. Mm -hmm. I get it. We need a strategy. A really good strategy. Now, what's the strategy again? Andy is me. Do you and need I me am... to explain? You need me to explain our strategy? Uh, uh, so tempted to say no. Let's say yes. A strategy is a plan of attack. I hope you've learned that, but yeah, I know. For the time being, we can ignore the medium attack. Just make sure not to move into its attack range. You can always check in its attack range by moving the cursor on the unit and holding B. Let's make the most of our tank and mech units by using the defensive cover of cities and woods as we battle. Placing artillery here uses its superior range to our advantage, and the river protects us from all but the enemy's infantry. <laughs> then we roll on in save the day! Perhaps. But only when it's strategically advantageous. Every battle is different, there's more than one way to win, you know. Can you explain the terms of victory? No. I know all that stuff. Murder them all or capture their HQ. Let's go get them. All right. Artillery. Right about me. And um, let's load up. Uh, let's, load up let's load up one of these guys. In there. Can I load up more than one at a time? No. Just the one. And let's lead the charge. Ew. Ew. Ooh. Hmm. I was, I was gonna be like, let's just go right here, but then we can't capture. Well, I guess we can start blasting, right? Because, yo, he can just go wherever the fuck he wants. X to poison their water supply. Let's just start blasting. Let's just start blasting. How'd that go, Ar Arachnophobia? Kaboom! So anyways, I started blasting. Um, how fast can they go? They cannot at all. Let's load him up here. This is gonna go really well. It's the first mission. What could possibly go wrong? You wait there. You, you wait there. Bring him in. I'm just gonna ferry them across with the APC. Bit by bit. And you go there. Everything. We choose classic? Yeah. Listen, if I get murdered in the first turn, then it'll be a very short stream. Huh? Oh, the Orange Star Army is launching a counterattack. On my new Coral Fortress. It's so strange, pet peeve. Maybe it's not that strange. When they have voice acting, but not for every line of dialogue, I get it. Right? You just voice act the most crucial parts. It's expensive and time consuming. But when it's like the first half of a sentence, it's like, why would. I, I guess it's so they can reuse that on, like, any map he's on? I don't know. It's strange. It's a bit off, buddy. Oh, uh, my new Coral Fortress! <laughs> yeah, they as well. I see you failed to notice my new weapon, Nell. You'll soon tremble before the power of the mightiest ground forces ever! This will be a quick victory for Blue Moon. Hey, don't do that. Oh. Oh. Okay. No, this is good. This is fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You capture that. Good. You blast, um... 
Oh my god, 75%. Yeah. Blast them! Get them! They're defenseless! Wait, so a road has less defense than the planes. I guess that makes sense? Forget about that. Uh, okay, they've been blasted. Uh, you blast this man. They can capture that city right there. That's fine. I don't care. I want to destroy their units. Hmm. Um, let's see. Can I move, load up, and then move again? Actually, I'd probably don't need, I can just do this, even. Yes, do that. Load them up. And then... Now, is this a horrendous idea? Maybe. Maybe. But listen, it's, uh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Bring in the kaboom. I should probably be captured. That's a good way to lose your APC. Yeah, he's fine. Should I capture these cities? I don't know. I'd rather just rush in and be dumb. Let's go. Why not? Because then I don't have more support. Are there pants that are hard to wear? Uh, yeah. They're called pants. You're thinking of shorts. Shorts are comfortable and easy to wear. Go work. <laughs> that noise. Oh. Now hold on a second. I didn't know you could do that. He's just a guy! Oh god! <laughs> oh Jesus! Yeah, but I'm in I'm in the trees, so you can't hurt me. Good luck finding me between the shrubbery. Okay, fair. Okay, fair. I wear jorts. Not my cube! Not my battle cube! How dare you attack my battle cube? My seal power is ready. All right, Andy, this is a real teaching moment, so listen up. The seal power meter is on the top corner of the screen. It fills up gradually over the course of any battle. When it fills up completely, it'll start flashing. That means it's good to go. When the seal power is ready, you can activate it by selecting power from the map menu. Keep an eye on your enemy's seal power meter as well. They won't hesitate to use their own seal power against us. No. I'm confused. Where does it, where does the power come from? It comes from inside of you, of course. The exhilaration of battle kindles the flame of our special abilities. When that fire ignites, one's true talent can be unleashed. Huh? A talented fire has that. Never mind. Okay, then I'm ready to select power from the map menu and send Olaf's troops packing. Okay. Power. Nell's units may randomly strike with up to plus 60 firepower, and they gain plus 10 to firepower and defense. That's pretty strong. So who's gonna get it? Oh, there she go! Lucky star. Look at her go! That's like almost everyone. <laughs> now my units are lucky. That means they have a greater chance of dealing high damage in battle. She has the power of anime on her side. That's just my own seal power. Every seal is different. You should adjust your strategy accordingly. Agree the intel on your seal power, even that of your opponents. Select CO in the map menu. But if you meet a new CO, I recommend checking there after all knowledge is power. Hey, yeah, what can you do? Uh, he likes warm boots and hates rain clouds. Uh, Blizzard calls down snow, increasing movement costs for all units except his own. And he gains plus 10 firepower defense. Oof. That's rough, man. Um, 33% damage. That's not a lot of damage. Uh, uh, where can I reach? I can I can blow him up. Yeah, let's do that. Let's murderize you. Go blame him. See you later. Are they just wizards? They seem to be battle wizards, yes. And probably from there, right? Cause this is Oh, I can't. Um Wood is two defense. Yeah, road is zero defense, so. Here, and then attack. Kablam. War mages. Yes. And attack you for 33. That's not great. But, uh, it works for me. Get him! Yeah, woo! And you finish capturing this. Yeah, you back the fuck up so you don't get blown up. Uh, can't put him on the city to start 
refueling. Can I move you? I can't quite make it there. Eh, that's fine. Uh, let's go here. Supply. Sure. Do, 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 do. Here, play Wargroove. I don't think so. Let's, uh, yeah. And, um, yeah. And, uh, uh, can he attack me from here? What's the range on these guys? Okay, not yet. Okay. Oh, he's absolutely gonna blow up my tanks. <laughs> uh, uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Uh, just drink some gasoline. Uh, it's gonna be good. I'm just gonna move him here. Yeah. I end my turn. There's only two of them. Mm hmm. He moved to capture the city for some reason. Okay, great. No! Oh, yeah, get him. Yeah, get him. Okay, now they're trying to cross the river. I see. Uh, yeah. Now, how much would I mess up this guy? 43%. Yeah, let's do that. I think we should do that. Ooh, look at this environment art. It's nice. Boom. He can take it. He can take it. Well, if you take him out, you don't take any damage, which is always nice. Take you out. Kaboom. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's start trying to move this guy up. Because I'm going to need him to take out that big boy. I don't think we can capture the HQ without that tank saying something about it. Or... Yeah, I can't. All right. Yeah. Let's get a move on. Um... Hmm. Oh, there you go. 55%? Yeah! Yeah, get him. Hit him in the river. Mess him up. Yeah, get him. The water splash on the camera. Nice. Why is the infantry explode? Because everything explodes. They're they're toys. They're not people. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh you can hang out here. And resupply. Uh w forty-five. Uh that is kind of far forward. Okay. Should be able to take him out. Boom. Great. They're just human lives. What could they cost? $10? Uh, you 46%? I like those odds. Nice. Great. Now you can... No. Next turn, you can capture that. You... I don't think moving in the mountains to attack is a good idea. He's probably just gonna go put you. Yeah, because before I get to him, he will lay waste to me. Um, can I get to stop? Don't worry about it. Just ignore it. Huge defense buff. How much? Four defense. I mean, I mean, if you guys think I could survive crossing the mountains to get within striking range, I'll do it. He can't go in the mountains. Nobody can shoot me in the mountains, right? Isn't that isn't that his attack range? I check where they can move by by selecting that. But he can attack an extra space over. That's attack, that's movement. Yes? So And my my attack range is three. Oh, so I can stand here and shoot him. Hey, let's let's do that. They attack one square. Oh, cause this is saying. He could he could move forward and then attack one space over. That's what that's saying. Okay, I see. Because it's his movement space plus movement speed plus one extra space outside of that. Got it. That's saying this is the danger zone. I see. Uh, in that case, then I end my turn. How dare they? Nobody plows through my army like that. Hit them back. Hey, no! I'm in the- I'm in the trees! Do not! Ow, uh... Sir. Dun, 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 
Shiba dooba dooba doo doo doo. Uh, what's the play here? Hmm. Cause I can move. Let's just. So there's no. So all right, right. So I can only attack next to myself as well. I can't just hide in the mountains. So. I don't see how this goes well for me, trying to attack him from the front like this. Use the mechs to blow him away. Well, I can I can blow up these guys, right? 49% and then follow up with those guys. That's fine. Um, I can move this guy over, like, just outside. Oh, what, wait, no, that's me. So I, I can move my guy, like, right here. <laughs> I can just scooch him up a little bit. Hit from two sides at once. So I just need, I just need to get ready. How far can I move you? Because that's. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna. Yeah. I think trying to go over the mountains here will only work for like one turn, and he's gonna move south. So. Let's. I do want to capture that though. So. Yeah. Yeah. This this is the first goddamn level and I'm already like, but what do I do? But what do I do? You should resupply somewhere. We can do this. Supply that guy back up. You come back here. Or in. Soften him up with artillery. Well that's 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 why I want to move him up. Also the Marines to be seeing what he's gonna do. Also, I can just line everyone up, rush him, and then try to capture HQ while I get slaughtered. Uh, that's also an option. So I think I think I'll, I'll keep him keep him here, right? Because he can't. No, because he can only move up there. And then, yeah, all right. Nope. You go there. We do a murder upon your person. Dave Bruno's a hot minute ago. Yeah, it's been a long time. 22%. Eww, we might die. But that's the sacrifice I'm willing to take? Yeah, we got him. That was a good coin toss there. And you can scooch into there. That's fine. Yeah. Alright. I end my turn? I end my turn? Or was I going to move you up? Nah, I don't need to right now. I want to see what he does. Oh no! My movement speed. The fury of nature. Neither man nor machine can withstand, etc. Blizzard. I thought way forward made this. Oh, it changes. Yeah, that's cute. That's how much percent of the enemy unit you kill. Right. I mean, that's the same either way. No, but it, that was what, like 20, wait, what was, I forgot what the numbers were, but it's like I had, like, let's say there were four guys left and a 33%. That doesn't mean I'm gonna kill all four of them. That means I might kill three of them. It was 22% and there were like three of them left, whatever it was. So if it's 22% and there's three guys left, I don't have a guarantee I'm gonna get all three guys. Yeah, that's my point. Yeah, what Rand said. That's my understanding of how it works. If that's wrong, then I should know. <laughs> you should tell me otherwise. But yeah, it's it's the game's not gonna round up for you. It's just like that's a very fuzzy. Like you're gonna get that. So we're trying to murder Santa. Yeah. Enemy retaliation is weaker. Right. But if I'm already like at like five, obviously I don't want to have any more guys lost. Which is not much with that. True. But it's just annoying to have to deal with the next turn. So uh, you capture. Do that. And then you can what? You can what? What can you do? What can we do? Where can you go? You can go all the way up to here. That's pretty good. Okay. So now we can try to coax him out of his shell. Because then if he moves within firing range, we can just scooch up a little bit. Nice. Yeah, so he still can't attack us if we go here. We can bring you around down here. Uh, sure. That's fine. And you are still healing? Hmm. 
Max. Hello, Max. How you doing? Hey, Kid Loons. Now bait him. Right, that's what I'm thinking. So maybe I don't attack with this guy, but he can bring up the caboose. Because if I move him to the mountain, he's going to move left. And I want him to move south now. So, so maybe, maybe I even move him south. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think this makes some amount of sense. He can't go into the river. So we'll do that. And right, he can't attack that space either. He can't attack that space. Then let's move one space over. Or rather, I'll move him over and down. That seems good. Yeah. Capture? Uh, I can't capture on that turn because I moved him to that spot. Go on the bottom right. Not even any money being tracked on this map? Don't think so. Okay, you capture. Stomp it. Bop it. Uh... So now... How do I beat him out? Just like... Maybe I should wait until I have a guy who can try to capture that. In which case, we... We can zoom back here. Pick this guy up. And then we'll zoom back with him. You're... you're pretty healed up. I'm not that part of the story. Yeah, we're not making new units yet. Um... He hasn't moving out. Yeah, I think he's just kind of weirded out by my guys over here. I don't know. Um, but I feel like I should start making some moves. Maybe, maybe I'll just dip a toe into his attack range and see if he just guns it for me right away. Because I think I think I have a pretty good frontal line going right now, and he can't attack me here. So let's get out of the water and let's just move up one. All right, what's he gonna do? In one turn, right. Well, now he can, yeah, now he can hit that guy. Gotcha. Well, you know, I got a bunch of tanks, so what's he gonna do? Those are some pretty heavy hitting tanks. Cool, um, fire. Blow him up. Nice. Good. No, pout. That's the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. 11%? Hmm. Things may go very poorly very quickly here. <laughs> Gah. Gah. Mechs are effective on tanks. A little bit. Might have been a bad thing. Nah, it's probably fine. Remember, they're, they're not going to kill me during the tutorial. That, that would just be... That'd be, that'd be real, that'd be so mean. Um, let's do this. Let's give him a, an overabundance of targets. What's he gonna do, blow up all of us up? Probably. Uh, eh. Yeah, woo. Yeah, woo. Can't kill all of us in one turn. <laughs> did I did I mention that? Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, someone mentioned earlier. Do they still ag aggressively target APCs? He's still alive. Oh shit. Oh, you damn fool. Now we could capture their HQ, but I think we're gonna go for the murder option. So that's maybe in line with the original game's AI. Yeah. Woo. I beat the easiest level in the game. <laughs> and I stressed the whole time. You light all off habit now. No time for celebration. APC target. If you don't need your APC anymore, just uh, sacrifice it. If Olaf has access to medium tanks, our current tactics won't suffice. I'll have to ask Central Command to ship us in some new units. What? Burp. Even my medium tank was defeated. Curse that now. <laughs> Doesn't look like she has any air units ready to use yet. I'm sure I'll enjoy our next encounter. Great job. Great job. I uh, I got something in my eye. Yeah, you complete the first mission. S rank somehow.
That's what S stands for. Bum, 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 bum. Time to end stream. I ended on a high note. Well, see you guys on uh, Sunday. See you later. Bye. I got 321 coins. Well done. You've just successfully cleared your first mission. I'm so proud of you. I want to celebrate this accomplishment by giving you a special gift. I'd like to present your very own IT tech. <laughs> It'll track your accomplishments. Congrats. Wow, my very own dog tag. Thank you. I appreciate it now. When did you take this photo? <laughs> right now, the tag is empty. As you continue to clear missions, you'll earn medals. Thanks. Besides clearing missions, there are other accomplishments that can contribute to earning medals as well. By the way, as the holder of an IT tag, you're now authorized to access two new modes. First, you can now visit the War Room. There, you can hone your skills with a series of challenging battles. Like, hey, you're going to war. I'm what? I'm brushing my teeth. What? Second, you can now engage in head-to-head -head battles with friends anywhere and online. Check out both the War Room and online on the main menu when you get a chance. Keep up the good work. Thanks. You can't fight here. This is the War Room. Gentlemen. Andy. I've received word that Olaf has moved in on the Al Alara Bay. Uh... Guess he's not gonna give up so easily. It appears that's not our only problem. Orange Star has hit a snag in its heavy armor development. Blue Moon, on the other hand, seems to have more than enough tanks. <laughs> Yikes. Can we defeat Olaf without any tanks of our own? I pulled some strings and had some helicopter, anti-air, and missile units sent down from the front lines. Although, that doesn't give us all that much additional firepower. And nevertheless, with careful planning, I'm confident that we can drive away that pompous old... I mean, that we can force Olaf to withdraw. It's a tankless job, but somebody's gotta do it. Thank you, Andy. Copter tactics! Blue Moon is a strong front at the Alara Bay. Let's teach Andy how helicopters can lift us to victory! Boo! Boo! That's Ash Ketchum, right. Copter tactics. Love the art style. Yeah, I, I, I really do quite like it. I think the the only thing I can really say is my memory of the well for the for the map screens. It seems like pretty good from what I remember, and from like the little bits I saw in in online videos revisiting it. Um, nice. The the combat screen where they show the two units. I remember the color palettes and those being a little bit less saturated. I feel like they cranked up the saturation. Uh, to make it seem more toy-like. To be like, it's, it's fine, it's... It's just, it's, it's, it's a game, it's a game, don't worry about it. Um, I think it works for the game, but just compared to the original, I liked the, the more muted palettes. It was still very cartoonish, but it wasn't just quite, uh, overdone. Cranking them sats, you yeah. In fact, I, I could, I could even... Now I'm, now I'm curious. If I... If I do... Color correction... And nudge down the saturation a tiny bit. The so smidge. Smidge? Sm smidge? Smidge. Perfect. Perfection. No. I don't know. Just like, just like a little bit. Eh. Evil Animal Crossing. I mean, that's, that's down 16%. It's very subtle. I don't know. I'm not going to say that it looks better desaturated, but I don't know. War is pastel, and that's a documentary. Just like a, like a, a little bit of the... Take the foot off the gas a little bit with the saturation. I think it's kind of nice. Increase the saturation. Uh, sure. Oh, God. Original? Crank it up! How about more? More? More. More? More. More? How's this? Does this hurt to look at yet? How about 400% saturation? Is that pretty good? Blow it the fuck out. I got up the brightness too. Yeah, woo! Original? Enhanced graphics! <laughs> no, alright. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, Olaf is one true tactician. As I suspected, he's deployed a number of helicopters and medium tanks to the battlefield. A frontal attack from us would be reckless. RTX on. RGB only. I want those, the, 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 
the, the spectrometer just show fucking spikes for 100% RGB and nothing else. Ele examining all of Olaf's units, I think we have one viable option. Throw everything we've got at him. No, Andy. Strategy. Yes. We must capture the enemy HQ. Do you need me to explain? For that, we'll need to leverage our helicopter units. Do you need me to explain how to use them? Probably. Enemy HQ is right below you. While it might be possible to march down there, all those enemies make that a risky venture. This is where transport copters come in handy. Handy and you remember APCs? They're like APCs. They can carry infantry and mech, but also like APCs. They have no weapons and can't fire. Select this infantry unit, and I can show you how the transport copter works. That's right. Move them here and load them into your transport copter. Very good. You loaded your troops. Select the transport copter. Look how far your copter can move. And because it's an air unit, its movement is the same all over all terrain types. You can only drop infantry units on terrain that can move across, no dropping them in water. That's important. Drop the unit on this enemy's HQ. There's only one space to place your troops. Go ahead and select it. Okay, let's test the capabilities of our battle copter. Select it when you're ready. The battle copter. The battle copter is an air unit, just like the transport copter. Since air units are always flying, they use two units of fuel every day. They also don't gain any terrain bonuses. As for attack power, well, you should check it out for yourself. The enemy tank's pretty vulnerable. Move your battle copter next to it and fire. Get him! You get him, look at him! Kaboom! <laughs> Powerful, aren't they? Battlecopters are even effective against tanks. Let me tell you a little more about these new U air new units. And if you land them on allied cities and HQs, they won't recover HP or be supplied with fuel or ammo. They can resupply at airports, but you haven't seen any yet. If they run low on fuel or ammo, you can restock them with an APC, just like you do with land-based units. Mm -hmm. Glad you were listening, Andy. Do you want me to tell you about our new ground units? Yes, please. Yes. Let's look at our anti-air units, see what they can do. Select this one. Okay. They can attack gr ground units as well, but of course they work best against air. Attack that battle copter. 120% damage? I'm gonna blow them up yesterday. Are airports even real? How do we know? See how powerful they are against air units? It's pretty impressive if you ask me. They're far more effective than tanks against mech and infantry. However, tanks will still typically defeat them in head-to-head -head combat. The last battle copter is going to be a problem. Luckily, I have a solution. Missiles can fire on air units from a distance. Select him, please. Fire on the last battle copter. Bam. A great tactician. Yeah. Missiles are indirect units and can fire on units that are three to five spaces away. They can't fire immediately after moving. Your main focus should be to draw units within the missile's attack range. Smart to use them in conjunction with anti-air. We only need to distract Olaf for a few days. Pay careful attention to the enemy battlecopters and medium tanks. And don't forego, we need to capture the enemy HQ quickly. If I know Olaf, he hasn't even considered the possibility they could be captured early on. Yeah, all right. Um, in the meantime... Where are we moving to? Maybe this? Maybe that? Missile's here! Port, port. Oh, missile. My beloved. Um... Maybe we'll get him next turn. Let's just move him... Move him up? Where's... What's his range? Everything. His range is everything. So... Is the play to move forward and just... Let them swarm us. Console! Thank you! Appreciate it! Block the bridge up here? Can I? I don't think I can. I, I mean, I can block the one bridge, but they have that bottom one. And they're probably just gonna murderize this. That's a frontal attack. Right. So, I think we just, uh... Load him up with a guy. Move him. Move him here. But I didn't mean to drop. Uh, yeah, sure, supply. Why not? Sure, worry about the recon. Medium tank is the issue. But we have we have two medium tanks to worry about here. Many medium tanks. Yeah, there's a lot. 
I'm gonna let him come to me. Uh... End turn. I see Nell hasn't deployed any medium tanks. My troops. This time, nothing can stand in the way of our victory. Just need a lot for two turns. Yes. No, my guys. No, my men's. No, those were good. No, my men's. What about this one? No! Yeah, he's moving them all up. I mean, he's a pretty decent tactician. It's just, this is the tutorial being like, hey, sometimes just ignore everything and go after their HQ. Cause, um, that is an important, that's not meant to be a, oh, by the way, you can do it. That's meant to be like, no, you should be paying attention to that. Um, so what are we, what are we, what are we blowing up here? 25%. Let's just, uh, wait, what are you? Can't blow up anything. 1%? Let's go. Kaboom. Some of your foes a dipshit. Kaboom. No. Kaboom. Uh, um, yeah, um, yeah, that's fine. Air units can block, air units can block that bridge in case you didn't know. Oh, okay. That's good. So I, I, if I could move this forward. I'm not gonna. But I can. Uh, he's low on ammo. Great. Um, 25%. 70%. 25%. I mean, it almost doesn't matter. We win, we win next turn. So I'm just going to throw my lads forward. 4%. Yeah, get up. This looks really good. All right, men. Oh no! <laughs> that didn't go well. Uh, yeah, back them up. Back them up. All right, time to deploy them into battle in front of a tank. Good work. I'm a master tactician. You wait there. All right, good work, team. Day two. Oh god. The fury of nature. Why are you doing that, Olaf? You don't need to do that. You've, you've already lost. Yo, Duke. Tanks have a predefined kill limit. Everyone has a range. Most units can only attack adjacent to them. No, my APC. No, my hot dogs were in there. You maniacs. I feel like all the updated art for snow. It's really nice. It's also less saturated, so it's kind of nice to look at. We need the jingle. Jingle bells are the naturally occurring source of snow. It's where snow comes from. No, all my men's. All my man's. All right. Good game. Yay! Yeah. That takes care of that. Yeah. I can't believe he left his HQ wide open. It's not like this is his first time on the battlefield. Mm. You know, Olaf's missing a key piece of strategy. Doesn't matter how strong your units are if you don't know how to use them. Uh -oh. What in the? My HQ seized? Now this smells like one of your little schemes. Mm. You knew your troops couldn't. Over yet. You you knew your troops couldn't weather a direct assault, so that you pull this out of your hat. This isn't over yet. No unit left sure behind. Yeah, don't worry about it. Let's try another one. Ba -na -na -na. Ah. Er. Er. Finally waging warfare. You know it, crowds. <laughs> it's a shame this game doesn't have Twitch integration, so you can put chat in as your units. So in in, in combat, it puts little names above everyone. I don't see why- I don't see any way that would be a bad, a bad idea, you know? A rank for killing your entire squad. <laughs> Seems you got a handle on this. Perhaps my lessons are pretty good after all. 
If there are any rules you're still unsure about, visit with me by selecting the field training flag on the campaign map. We can go over it again. As payments for your services, you've received some Advanced Wars coins. You can spend these to shop for all sorts of things. Speaking of which, there's someone I'd like to introduce you to. Hi there! My name's Hachi, and I run the one and only Hachi Shop! Hachi Machi. Conveniently located on the main menu. Those Advanced Wars coins you just got, why well, deal in them? In exchange for those, you can buy all sorts of neat stuff. I'll sell you new battle maps, collectibles for your gallery, and lots more. I gave it a list new COs to play as for a fee, of course. Come buy something! I don't believe him when he says one and only. <laughs> Twitch integrated army draft. The next big FPS, it's gonna be huge. Make sure to stop by. I will, Hachi. I don't forget. I won't. Hachi is a CO. You can make him command your army? Olaf may be uh, finally taking us seriously. We've nearly pushed him out of Alara entirely. He's defeated our troops in, en route to the Lost Fortress. Lost Fortress, now we'll never find him. I know Olaf's forces are laying in wait for us in the fog of war, but I managed to secure some units to root him out. Wait, no, actually I can't see anything. What are we doing again? <laughs> Locating Olaf's troops and pushing them out of Alara. Let's go. I want I want to I want to I want to take a look at Hachi shop real quick. Just just briefly. All side. Oh good, fog of war. Hachi. Hey, a customer. Oh, it's you. Come on in. I'll see that part for you. Welcome. I got lots of stuff in stock at the moment. Real premium goods, great prices. Let me explain something real quick. As you work your way through the campaign, I'll be getting all sorts of shipments. I'm back again now. I'll try to give you a heads up when something real nice comes my way. Be sure to come back and check often. That's enough gabbing. Go ahead, take a look around. Battle maps. It goes in the war room case. So there's like different challenge maps or something. Sp maps for versus mode. Oh, that's cute. See those more. Fresh out of those. Collectibles. Listen anytime in the gallery. Nell artwork and the artwork. Done. Yes. Good choice. Yes. What a deal. Great. Hey, don't forget your I did. I forgot her. He's a war prophet here. Hmm? Hi. <laughs> Jesus. Uh Nice. Ooh, I can listen to the gallery music in the gallery. What does it sound like? Oh, wow. Just like I remember it. Nah. Uh, buying it for research. Yeah, it's for research. It's just a single image? I've been scammed. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like concept art and shit. This sucks. <laughs> I paid $300 for a fucking postcard! Hachi, get back here! Hachi? You son of a bitch! I have words for you, sir! God damn it. Give me a Windows wallpaper. I've been scammed. Can't believe it. Alright. Fog is thick on the way to the Lost Fortress. Let's give our troops the vision to see it through. Why aren't there themes on the Switch yet? I don't know. Been asking that since day one of the Switch. People modded hacked switches to have themes like day two of the Switch being out. So I think they just don't want it. <laughs> Be great. Man, what if in the game you could like spend your coins to get an Advance Wars theme for your Switch? You know, that'd be cool. I like themes. Uh oh, this could be trouble. The surrounding area is almost completely hidden. Olaf's oh, troops could be anywhere. We wouldn't be able to see them. Thank you for the bits. War is so mysterious. Do you need me to explain? Do you need me to explain Fog of War? Yeah. Steam Deck has themes? I think so. I don't know. I don't have one. I don't have one. Oh, my CO is gone. That's a good one. When Fog of War is present, units can see only a limited distance ahead. Check each unit's vision range to determine how far it can see. Look at this inventory! Notice the bright spaces around it. They're the vision range when Fog of War is present. The other lit areas around our HQ are cities and other unit positions. Areas around neutral cities or enemy positions remain dark. They won't become visible until we get very close to them. 
It's dark, you can't be sure what's there at that city. When approaching a shrouded city, you can't see its allegiance or defenses. Approach with caution. Foot soldiers, infantry mech, have special abilities. Select this mech and I'll explain. Moment of position in the mountains. Wait. Oh. Vision ranges of infantry mech units increase in mountains. Much easier to spot enemies from way up there. Did you notice this area here? Still dark. Woods block line of sight. You can't see an enemy unit unless it's right next to you. Reefs work the same way. Units within them remain dark until you're right next to them. Enemies using the terrain to conceal their troops, right? Well, guess what? You can do the same thing. Using the terrain to hide your units is a great strategy. No official theme sketcher. War goes in, war goes up. Can you explain recon rocket? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. There might be something hidden in this forest. This is the perfect chance to use your new units, the recon units. Go ahead and select it. Here's something worth remembering. Recon unit has a vision range of five spaces. Pretty impressive. Keep in mind that's not especially powerful. Recon can handle infantry, should avoid engaging other types of units. Send him off to investigate that forest. Whoa, no! There's a rocket unit in there. Perfect example of the dangers of fog of war. If you tried to move your units into the woods, you'd have bumped right into that enemy. You would have been stuck there, unable to do anything. Select this unit, please. Test our own rocket. Select this unit, please. This unit has the range you need. Seize the moment and fire on Olaf's medium tank. Rocket, no, I'm sure. Rockets are powered up artillery. They have the same attack range as missiles, three to five spaces. That's a big advantage. Indirect combat units are unable to fire at close range. As with artillery, they take heavy damage from direct attacks. You have to protect them. When we're thinking about the missile and rocket units, these units travel on tires. They may move more slowly whenever they're not on a road. You know this stuff. Let's show off. He can't hide from us. Um, I have a medium tank. Should I go medium versus medium? Because the rocket can't attack if I'm nearby. Yeah. So let's blow him up. Use the divine pulse. The hell is that? Wait. Ah, oh, so close to that. Nice. 68%. I'll take it. Good. And then bring you up in there. Finish the job. Nick. <laughs> Nick. Fire Emblem Rewind Turn. You can rewind your turn and Fire Emblem? That seems OP as hell. Uh, let's grab you and Scooch over here. And might as well supply. And bring you in closer. Only lays too much less than hard difficulties. Uh, let's see who's in here. Okay, cool. <laughs> that is very stressful. All right, yay. And uh, move you guys up. Actually, I'm, I, I feels like I should probably leave one or two guys to defend HQ. Um, considering the fog of war. You can restart turn the option menu. You go to end turn. Whoa. Whoa! View battle and capture animation. View battle animation only. View player battle animation only. No animation. Oh. That is nice. I don't know if that was in the original or not. I yield! Goodbye! <coughs> RNG's locked in. That makes sense. You can't just rewind and roll the dice over and over again until you have a favorable outcome. That'd be very broken. Uh... I'm, I'm just going to have this single guy stand here. I don't know if that makes sense. He can't come sneaking in through the fog. The fury of nature. That seems quite early in the turn. Day one, CO power. Blizzard. Okay, bud. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh. Uh-huh. They do! Now it's chilly. And capture you. More you to use the click the seal power charges, same for enemies. Does that persist between 
campaign levels? I did not know that. Uh, big boy! Get him! Yeah. You can probably stick with G, but do different things. You remember I tried different tactics on the next one, I just might not. Right. That, yeah, that makes sense. Never start a land war with Olaf in the winter. It was spring five minutes ago. I blow him up. Goodbye. Goodbye. And attack you. Oh, he was up in the mountains, huh? That was not necessarily my finest moment. Oh. Uh, I don't really know what makes sense to do here. Hey, nice. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's... Uh, drop here. Mountain fight. We love a mountain fight. And then move you up into blast and range. Just permission, take it, yeah, you're doing something less, but give the advantage. Gotcha. See if I might balance that. Hmm, okay. Um, man. Move him up into here. Oh, I, right. He needs to be on a road. Uh, sure. And it's snowing. Uh, okay. I end my turn. Nice vid, hero. This is more my jam. Yeah, I've man, I've never really played a Fire Emblem, but I, I did get really into this for a couple weeks. And I was not good at it, but... It's, it's, um... It's kind of uh, redundant to say, because I've said it about 80 million times, but this game's kind of perfect for the Switch. It's like hopping onto a flight or something and just doing a couple rounds of, of Advanced Wars, like... Doing doing a level or two. It's 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 pretty pick up and play while having like interesting complexity to it. Not the newest one. I've heard mixed things about the newest one. I've been told to play three houses a million times, but for a brief moment I was considering streaming it. And I was like, that would be like a month and a half where all I do is play Fire Emblem. So uh, I don't know if that's a good fit. But um I might try to just scooch in and uh wait, yeah, I can climb mountains. Okay. I mean, he probably has guys in this corner here, but, you know, it's going to be fine. Blast him. My long pump on this. Yeah. What? Oh, sure. Okay, fine. Um, and you, you when 30%, 26%. Um, this makes sense to me. Playing good. Oh, fine. Someday, maybe. I mean, if this does well, I imagine they'd be interested in making a new one, right? Uh, blow, blow them up. Blow them up! Do, 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 do. And, um. Hmm. Now, is this a good idea? Not really. Not really, no. How's that go? Oh, that goes much better. It did say re Recon is good against infantry, so... Nice. The DS one's nice. And m move them up. Anybody, anybody in here? Anybody home? I'm gonna hang out on the beach. Oh, God! <laughs> Oh no, my recon! Oh dear. Uh, okay. I mean, they, 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 I knew they had to have more shenanigans like that, right? Um, okay, I want to stay out of his blast radius. Stay here. And bring you up. And you can just hang out back there. That's good. Uh, yeah. It's fine. I've been duped! At least I saw him before he duped me. How dare they? Nobody promised my army like that three times in a row. 
Wait, how can he attack me this close range? I thought they I thought he wasn't allowed to. I didn't, I thought that wasn't Different unit? Rockets can attack next to them? Different guy? Which guy was that? That was this? Dupe by Fog. Wait. Oh, that's a different guy. That was the guy down here. I see. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, in that case... I, so I can't attack until I see it. So let's do this. This will reveal him. There he is. Now bring him in there. Blow him the hell up! Use the tank, yeah. But I need to see him first. Oh, he survived! Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Let's finish capturing that. Now we're advanced warzing. Now this I call advanced warzing. That might be a bad idea, but you know, we're gonna figure it out. Um, I think I'm gonna grab this mech next turn. Move him up. And so his his range is 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 is, is out. So if, if I move here, will he murder me? I don't think so. Let's find out. I don't need to capture it. I'm just trying to get vision on him. Meanwhile, you need to go around. Yeah, he will. Cool. Well, it's fu everything's fine. I end my turn. He can attack diagonally. Brad. We must not let this enemy overwhelm us. No, my guys. My guys in their cool jeeps. Still got one. Okay. So that has to have been these guys here. Uh, let me move here. There he is. Now I can... I can't attack any of them. Shit. I need to move forward one more space. Eh. But they can... Yeah, they both have attacks on on the that there. But if these are the last two dudes, I might, I might not even... Shouldn't even worry about trying to do a murder on them. Not even... Ca I should just take out these guys. Yeah, I'll do that. And I can bring my medium tank over here. And do this. And GG. Unless there's another guy somewhere. Oh, you, you well, well, when you do that. Eight percent. Right. Come on, baby. Yeah. Did we do it? Did we save the day? He's got another hidden guy somewhere. <laughs> you son of a bitch. All right, I'm capturing. I don't care. Drop there. Okay. Um, there might be a guy in the reef. Oh, you were so right. Ah! Uh, this is fine. Um, so we can go... If I move forward to... I can attack there. Alright, next turn. It's a transport. Let's get him. Good turn. <laughs> just a boat in the harbor, just like... Uh... Sh can I... Can I... Can I go? Can I go back? 9%?! Forty-nine percent. Let's just. What will happen faster? This or slowly, slowly murdering it? Oh, there we go. That's what we. Need. Yeah. Okay. There's only a gray expanse behind me. Ah. And. Mip. Okay. Now, are you gonna have another guy hidden somewhere? You gonna do that? You sunk my battleship. The cursor went away, so yeah. So they've taken back some of their Orange Star territory. I'll concede this day. The real battle is yet to come. 
Well done! Incredible job! We've finally driven Olaf out of the Alara region. That said, there's still a great deal of work to do. You've come a long way in a short time. I have a feeling that you're ready to handle your own missions from now on. <laughs> Helps that I had such a great teacher and that I actually listened to what she said for once. I'll remain in ready contact, so reach out to me anytime you need assistance. Guess I'm still learning, huh? We're all still learning, Andy. You're still young, but your abilities are already top-notch. Although you could exercise a bit more patience sometimes. Good luck. Good luck. I'll be rooting for you. Haha! -ha. Hello, Shit. I have high hopes for you. Show me what you've got. <laughs> Sir. Nice. Love her lesbian pride flag then. <laughs> Win! Yeah. Oh, thank you. I should get cop alerts. We finished the first prologue campaign thing, right? Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Um. The Orange Star Force is here so soon! Wait, something's not right here. No wouldn't leave Orange Star's capital city unguarded. <laughs> Which means a new commanding officer. Excellent, I've lost a few battles lately, but no more. An Orange Star Army without Nell is no match for me. It's time to teach this raw recruit what war is all about. It's war. Is this Australia? Yeah. There's, there's the big prongle of Australia. That, there, that's New Zealand. It's really close to Australia, actually. Um, there's Tumby Bay. And that's Antarctica. Yeah, the, the classic horse dick of Australia. Standing proud and tall. It's inspirational. We're Gamma Knight? Yeah, yeah, Melbourne's like right over here. You guys can see New Zealand, right? It's like right over here. The what? Tasmania? Tasmania's like over in, in, in this. Tasmania got fucked up. Where's Hobbiton? Uh, right about... man. Yeah. Melbourne's where we live. Oh, you guys live in Brisbane. Listen, I don't know anything about Australia. <laughs> you knew that, though. Uh, Fluffy, thanks for six months. Enjoy your golden key. This isn't your grandpa's warfare. No, your grandpa played this on the GBA. It's been a long time. Close enough. Good job. Hey, thanks. Listen, I said Brisbane and not Brisbane, so I'm learning a little bit. Where's the city of Down Under? Where you come from, a land down under? What was in the original Cosmo? Brisbane's hosting the Olympics? I'm very proud. Thank you. That means a lot. Well, actually, no, you didn't insult me and swear at me, so I still have room to improve. They called it Yellow Comet before. Huh. Anyway, uh, if you're Zimmer, thanks for nine months. Enjoy your Ruby key. I'm catching up on the MGS3 VODs. As a person that's never played a Metal Gear game before, I was not ready for Kojima's Wild Ride. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. MGS3 has Kojima shenanigans. For sure. But I still maintain that it's... Uh, hang on. Hey, get fucked. How's that? That's better. Thank you. LA's hosting 2028. Oh my god. Um... This the GB color. Yeah, so, uh, the, uh, uh, MGS3 is, is a, I wouldn't call it a wild ride. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a fun ride for me. It's shenanigans. MGS4, when I get to it, that's the wild ride. That's the, oh my god, there's no handrails, and I'm in the dark spinning in circles, and I hear Kojima laughing over a loudspeaker. That's MGS4. I'm still angry at them. Who are you angry at? The Mr. Bones Wild Rider MGS, yes. It's no revenge, it's one of them. Yeah, they claim that they're gonna be making more uh, public infrastructure for, for trans transit for the LA Olympics. I'll believe it when I see it, and by I'll believe it when I see it, I mean I hope to no longer be living in LA in 2028. I hope to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's gonna be a shit show. Oh, and I haven't played yet. Well, if you wanna play it before I stream it, you have a little bit of time. I don't know when exactly I'll stream it, but maybe as soon as next month, so. See. Move to Portland. Get me the fuck out of here. Sasama, thanks for three months. Enjoy your outhouse key. Zavarin, thanks for 47. Oh god. Paper. Oh man. Smash Man, thanks for the 69 bits. 
Uh, Olaf seems one of my faves from this game. Well, a few things to look forward to hearing the enemy's turn. Nice. Cave, thanks for 69 bits. Not even Andy's CO power can fix that joke. Oof. Yuki Snow Fox, thanks for two years. Enjoy your house key. Consul gifted two subs to Cheap Cheap Beep and Infernal Kiwi. Thank you very much. Smashman, thanks for 96 bits. Way forward, you better fix the fog of war mechanics so enemy units are not affected by it. Wait, so in the original, are they not affected by it or they are affected by it? Gameplay is not ageable, unfortunately. I, I don't recall the gameplay of 4 being that good. But also, I remember there not being many segments where you actually get to play the game. It's, it's, uh, they weren't affected. So you want them to be. They ignored Fog of War. So they, they knew where you were at all times. In this one, they are. Okay, so they did tweak it. The enemy cheated. That's rude. I mean, that is a hard thing to code, presumably. Enemy hacks. The duality of answers, yeah. <laughs> LMPS for yeah. Well, it, it's it's not even so much that. It's like, well, uh, uh, if we talk about it, Metal Gear will be in the next hour and a half, and I'll not play any more of the game. Um, MGS 1, 2, and 3, in my opinion, all have strong sections of the game. 1 and 3 more so. 2 is very, very heavily structured. But 1 and 3 more so give you little sandbox moments. They're very much in a box where you walk in one side of the room and you go out the other side. And two has it as well, just I think to a lesser degree, uh, where it's like, this is the stealth game. You have enemies, you have terrain, you have tools. How There's 50 different ways to get from point A to point B. And that's what's really fun. Five is like on another level, incredible. No stealth game has ever done anything like this and it's amazing. Uh, I haven't played it since the game came out and I finished it, but I remember having really positive, uh, uh, a very positive time with five in terms of its gameplay, specifically and only. Um, whereas four, the theme of 4 is there's nowhere to hide, and you're in a war zone, and they kind of only do that one and a half times, and then the rest of the game is, like, very linear. And there's a lot of combat. Like, I just don't remember 4 being like, you have all these tools and I get to play with them. But I could be wrong. It's been, like, what, 15 years or something? So... Incredible game is. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say about... We'll talk about Metal Gear when I play 4 eventually, but... I, it, that, that's the stuff I like about Kojima's games, when he builds you up with all these different tools, as well as establishing the stakes in the narrative, whatever, and then goes, okay, here are these little scenarios to play out the different things in the game. That's a very solid strategy for a stealth game. Um, and it works really well. But I think 4 doesn't quite do it in the same way. So I'm not surprised to hear that it hasn't aged, aged as well, because it wasn't really great at the time, either. It's not... I, I like parts of 4. I don't dislike it. It's just that it's, it's, it's a little bit of like a... I don't know. It's it's kind of got like middle child syndrome, even though it's the fourth in the series, and not even it's like the sixth overall. It's weird. Yeah. Casmic boss get very close to each other's mouths. That's true. Yeah, three is good. I, there's parts of three that I haven't haven't aged that well, but if you play the HD version with subsistence, then it's a lot better. IMO. Clage, forty six months. Thank you, Clage. Advanced Wars is the most realistic game. It reminds us all that more money equals more wars won. Ain't that the way. Big F and Dan, thanks for four months. Hey. And Bad Bugs, thanks for 10 bets. Howdy, Barrel and Chat. Oh, thank you. Terrorist yeah. It didn't do anything that I wanted it to do, nearly to the extent that I hoped it would. And what it did do, it didn't do very well. So it was disappointing on multiple fronts, but it's fine. Um, uh, Twin Snakes. So Twin Snakes is, is a very strange game that's not... I like it. It's the first, my first playthrough of MGS1 was Twin Snakes, but a lot of hardcore MGS fans shun Twin Snakes. I think it's a little bit extreme. I think it's just important to note what they changed and stuff, but MGS, Twin Snakes is MGS1 remade in MGS2's engine, and it kind of breaks a lot of the game. But the jank, the clunkiness, that's just Metal Gear. So it's not really going to get better if you play three. 4 is a very different game that plays differently, and 5 is completely different and by far the most modern playing of any of them. So, you might be interested in playing 5, just you'll be very confused, so. Rising is an action game. It's it, good. It's good, but it's different. Uh, Olaf has assembled his army in the heart of Orange Star, and he takes command by himself. This is the test. Let's see if we can do. Rising is fun. I, it took me a long time to get into it before it clicked. Because the game does a really bad job of teaching you about the parrying mechanic, which is kind of crucial to playing the game. Uh, you attack into an enemy when they flash red. 
and they like allude to it, but they don't tell you. Andy. So if you don't know that, you kind of just get stomped and you're like, what am I doing wrong? It's like, yeah, you have to parry enemies and they, I remember not being told that. It was a friend at the, who was playing at the same time was like, by the way, here's how you can play the game. Yeah, get stalled a bit in it, yeah. Quiet has to photos, yeah. And then we don't talk about Square. Andy, do you read me? How do you parry Bloomin's rockets with a katana in the middle of the battlefield? No. Is that you? Is this a transceiver? Mm -hmm. That's right, Andy. I'll be using it to contact you from here on out. Since this is your first solo sneaking mission, I wanted to make myself available in case you need any advice. <laughs> yeah, the end's got to stay up. Must have to watch Kojima games then. <laughs> I mean, fair. It, you might enjoy it, but yeah, they, they are all jank in their own ways. They're often more about their ideas, and it's an uphill battle to get come to grips with them. But Five has the best gameplay of the series, and you can probably skip Ground Zeroes and just play Phantom Pain, and you'll be as you'll be extremely confused about the opening of Phantom Pain, and that's fine. You're supposed to be confused, but just if if you want to just like skip through all the cutscenes and be like, I just want to play the game, I think it's fine. <laughs> it's it's even if you've played all the Metal Gear games, you're just like, what the fuck? But Ground Zeroes is a pretty decent tutorial for some of the systems. So it's probably still worth checking out. Anyway, uh, don't worry about me now. This mission is going to be a piece of cake. Good luck. They covered it anyway. Kinda, yeah, I remember. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Ground Zeroes is, is a, a good... Fan Penny is nothing but sandboxes. That's what it's good about. It. Andy, you're nothing if not enthusiastic. Good luck. All right, what am I... What's what's going on? Okay, like, whoa. I thought I could use the right stick to move around. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, where is HQ? Wow, that's quite defended. So, looks like we have two fronts here. We got this northern area and the southern. Uh, that's bad. That's bad. That's really bad. Hmm. Methinks capturing these guys. I feel I should probably attack these guys first. Good luck. Yeah, this, se this seems like a big step up in terms of, okay, go. go. What are you doing? Uh, Anti-air. Does he even have any air? Not yet, he doesn't. What's my anti-air good for, then? Just just attacking from afar? No, it's not even that I have to drive up to him. You got this. For infantry? So I can... The guitarists. That's fun. They just they just cut the guitar out of the mix. Um, movement range, vision, fuel. Anti-air works good. Well, against foot soldiers and air units. They're weak against tanks. Okay. So I can send them in to mop up after the fact. Um, we have our, our artillery here. Indirect offensive attack capabilities. Yeah. So... Can't attack him yet. We have a regular tank. Yeah, I think I think we stay up in the mountains. What what's what's my forty four percent? Yeah, and that's twenty percent. Damn. Damn. And then, and what's what's your? Okay, so we fine. Am I trying to make friends? I would love that that was an option. Ugh. I think I'm probably gonna lose. <laughs> I have- I don't have the coffee dance. Uh, move you up here, right? Cause you can- no. You can go there. You know, yeah. Move you up here. We're just gonna go- we're gonna start blasting. You got this probably. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah. And then... Move. Do that. Chip away a little more. Good. Now for down here. Now here's here's the problem. Is actually no, as long as we don't go into the cities, we're okay for now. So I think we just charge right the fuck in. Mm-hmm. 
I have thoughts. I, but I don't mind anyone having additional thoughts for me. Um, okay, let's scooch him up. Give him a scooch. A little bit of a scooch. Okay, that's all fine. So, oh, I can't get in there. What about you? Shit. I, I can attack him from here, but then we'll get, we'll get fucking obliterated. Rats are neat. Rats are neat. I mean, I mean, he's probably just gonna attack us and then we'll blow him up, so it's fine. Because if, if he attacks us on his turn and we beat him, do we still not take damage? Because if you attack them and kill them, you don't take any damage. But if they attack you and they die, it seems like they should still do whatever damage they would have done to you. I am the rat. Doubtful enough thing. Let's find out. Attacking his hits first. Okay, so let's still do damage. That makes sense. And then I'll retaliate and take him out. So that's fine. I'm just gonna line up my lads. Let's get you in the here and scoot you up and supply. Bring you right to here. Uh, I don't. I. I wish I knew what I was doing. Do I want more? I think I want more support down here, cause cause down here he's still got like some giant fuck you tanks, and I'm scared of them. At the very least, I can try to lure everyone down here, and then maybe try to scooch up above and take their take their HQ. I don't I don't have a long term strat. This is a uh, kind of panic time. But I'm I think I'm gonna leave my HQ defenseless, which is not smart. But if they're rushing down to my HQ, then they fought through a lot of other dudes, so... I think at that point, so be it. Sun Tzu is so wise. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, he ran away. Cool. Uh, what's happening here? Great. Moving them up. Moving them up. Thank God there's no fog of war for this map. Uh, hi, why did you move here? Sir, why did you do this? Uh, 73%, yeah. So I can't get him yet. 4% damage, my God. All right. Um, That's 105%. However, we would be in range of this guy, unless I move here. Then he can get me with other guys, but he can't hit me with his uh, his missiles, his rockets. Right, Anti-air. This is pretty good range. That seems like a strategy to me. His rocket's wide open. Well, can I get that with anyone else? Oh. Oh. So I, I, I could take out... Here's the problem, is if I go for that at 94%, and if I don't kill it, I don't think I have any way of finishing the job. And then the anti-air is still just hanging out. But the anti-air is presumably less of a threat. Small chance to kill him. And I could just reset the turn. Let's roll the dice! He'll barely do shit. Come on! Damn it! So if I really wanted to, he'd be like, no, 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 never mind, and reset the turn. But at that point, now he might try running away to resupply. It's still a useless rocket. Yeah. What about artillery? I really would like to commence murder on you. Yeah, that sounds good. What? What saves? threat. You have artillery. Yeah. And I'm gonna use them. Um, is that enough to take him out? That is. Let's move up. Or... 38. That's not gonna do the job. Uh, I could... Ugh. I don't really want to start capturing these right now. Damn it. Because I could park this here and start capturing that next turn. That tank's gonna move right the fuck in on the APC, though. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, that's 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 no good. That's no bueno. I think what I would like to do is murder this guy and start capturing from here. That's 59%. Okay, yeah. Here's here's the move. Just reduce their strength enough. That's true, just as long as I'm chipping at them. So now I can do this. Drop there. Good. Move you up a smidge. And that's probably my turn. Because that's nothing. That's a bad time. Yeah. What I want to do is get... If I can get this guy out of the way, I can zoom down the road with recon and try to take out some of the... Yeah, the mechs and artillery down there. A infantry, not artillery. Meanwhile, up here... What are we doing? Blasting? Probably blast this guy. Because that I can... Yeah, 16%. Basically just cleans him up. Or with you even, 42. Yeah, let's let's go bow, because you're in there. Top fight. Don't forget the top. Top fight. Yeah, no, I I I, I know. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh god, if I had ended my turn. Yeah. Counterattack is reduced. True. You can start capturing. No. Yes. Maybe? Should I even bother capturing these cities? Now let Andy be on his own. No, I, I said earlier I don't mind I don't mind chat helping out. Thank you, Todd. Finish the destroy the enemy. Well, I, I can't do a damage this turn. I can just move them up. It's defensive, they're kinda of messy. That's kinda of my point. I, I think I'd rather move them up and then clean up next turn. So capturing cities um, gives you vision, which doesn't matter here. If you park a unit on it, then you regain two HP per turn, as well as regaining, I think it resupplies ammo and, and fuel as well. Unless they give money. Well, yeah, later on it's more important. But I think for this specific instance, I think I'd rather be trying to take out units. Cities are more later game. Yeah. Um, th these ones, I think, are more beneficial to capture, potentially, because they're kind of on the way, so I can have enemy- I can have units fall back and resupply. L button cycles through. It do! Hey, nice. That's cool. Alright, uh... So that's 42, that's 16. Please murder this! 16 rounds up to 20. Yay. Cool. Now you either... No, definitely that. Definitely that. Blow him up! I re-pierced my girlfriend's ear. I don't know how to think about it. Did you re-pierce it intentionally? Did they ask you to and then you did so? Let's move into the wood. Wait, what is your range? Yeah, that's in the blast zone. Let's... Let's let's uh Did you sanitize your inputs? Let's move there. And you there. I end my turn. I end my turn. You have to say you end your turn, like D D. Now I'll show you what it means to face blue move. Bring on the cold. Okay. It feels bad to leave one captured. Yeah. Later in the game, I think it's much more useful to capture them. It's not unhelpful, but... Yeah, okay, he just he just ran over... Th okay. So now they're just sitting targets. That's If anything, that's useful for me. All right. They're running away. Who are you attacking? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's, this is fine. This is good. Hello. That's not good. <laughs> this is decidedly not good. I do have three defense, though. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, that's that's rough. That's a bit spicy. Uh, and then that guy's gonna be gone. Okay. This is okay. We can come back from this. They didn't even attack my medium tank, the fools. The absolute fools of them all. Um. But, uh... Um, hello, 40%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20
two percent. Uh, 84, 76, 90. So pro probably this. Hey, you knew something just one shot? Yeah. Probably from here. Yeah. Yeah. Blow him up. Cool. And. Do, 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 do. But this guy should be all 52. 34, yeah, 52 is pretty good. Mmm, sure. It's pretty advanced. Look how advanced our military is. Ow. Okay. Wind just purged for advancing. It's great. Can you? You can. 46. All right. Now, can you finish the job? You should be able to. I did play the original, but I, I don't think I finished it, and it's, of course, been a very long time. I never played any others in the series either. So, you know, we're doing. Um. Mm, boop. And retreat. And you rest up. <laughs> you think about what you did. Might as well capture this. And up here, how we doing? 44%, 41%. 60%, yeah, there you go. I need to take my revengeance upon thee. Good. Quite good. Um, What's the higher? Well, I can eliminate him or I can weaken him. Because on his turn, he's probably gonna come in here and then murder my guys. So I think it's probably better... Yeah, because he can't attack anyone. Boop. It gives you a place to recuperate social skill. Yes. But in this instance, it lured them to be foolish over me. Uh, although if I stand here, I will get bopped. But he's at three, so he's going to take some turns to do that. Yes. Yes. As long as I weaken him, he can't cap it next I mean, it doesn't even matter if he caps it next turn. Because I'll just murder him and take it back. Um, and this is fine here. You wait. And we good. And we good. Day three. Hooray. Good work. And they're running away. They're attacking my guys. That's not good. Hooray. Good. No, no, this is good. Your seal power meter is full. Thank God. Would've been nice if that was last turn. <laughs> but okay. Use seal power to heal your units and give them an extra attack boost. Timing is everything. Yeah. So. His seal power, he likes mechanics, dislikes waking up early. He's average. And he's going to restore 2 HP and gain, gain 10 to firepower and defense. So... Probably just use it now. Let's just use it now. Let's go, Andy. Time for a tune -up. Hyper repair. Nice. Yeah, the animation on those scenes is so good. So animate. Uh, you... Well, yeah, let's, let's focus up here. Um... Boop, 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 boop. Uh, 72. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Good. Great. Now you can murder them. You can murder them. 58. Come on, that's gonna round up to 6. God. Yeah. Um. Honestly, it's probably worth it to start capturing. <laughs> Instead of... There you go. Uh, and you... Hmm. Hmm. What is your range? Let's just... Let's just scooch up a little bit. Just a smidgen? You sore when you kill a unit? Yeah, I mean... That's fine. Uh, um, 
73. What's his what's the biggest threat we have over here? Problem is if I chase him down, these guys are gonna come after me, yeah. I think I need to regroup. So I can just do this. That'll do. No, only only infantry or mechs. Guys on foot. Yeah, I think we regroup before we try pushing that last chunk of, of goodness. And that'll do. War never changes. Yeah. Go. Uh-huh. Let's, uh... Let's finish capturing this. Hooray. Move you up here. Yeah. I'll, w I'll give him one more turn to get back up to eight. That should be plenty. Uh, yeah, let's go. Because you recap to my mistake. Maybe in Ryu's room. Maybe. How dare they? Nobody plows through my army like that. Hit them back. Go work. You're going to get it. Oh, they're moving up. Very brave move of them. I respect it. All right. Let's capture. Ability. And goodbye. I'm not going to worry about capturing the second city here. Just get rid of them. Now then, um, actually what I could do, move you up, load you up into there, and now bring you here, drop you off there. So now we'll finish getting up to 10, up to full, and it'll be up with the rest of the game. Um, as for this, as for this... Hmm... Hmm... This is awkward. <laughs> this is quite awkward. Uh... Cause, I, I mean, obviously I can just- I can just bowl over these guys. But then he's gonna try chipping away at him. Just ignore him. Don't be scared of the 1 HP rocket. Should I be scared of this guy? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Um. Yeah, we have to just go single. We have to go single file through these guys. Uh. Yeah. No. This is yeah. Mid tank is the biggest threat. The mid, the mid tank up here. Yeah, for sure. And it looks like he's not gonna move until I'm in range from the move and then fire. Uh. You. Oh, you can. Okay. And now uh, you bring in the caboose. And then same deal up here. What makes sense? What makes sense to do? Probably lure out their tank and only their tank. This guy's going to be healing, which is annoying, but I'm not super worried. Long range him and then kaboom. I, but, uh, from where? Let's be do slow damage. Because I can, I can move this guy forward, so he's in range of only this guy. I think, I think I move this guy forward. Move tank into the forest. Is that in range? It is. So I move that there, and then hopefully then he's in artillery. That's a good idea, and then he's got cover. Smart. And I leave this guy here. So then as long as he moves in to attack, we can retire. Good thinking. All right. I end my turn. Excellent. Sun, snow, rain, or other weather, I can handle anything. Okay. Yep. That's fine. I mean, he did fuck me up a bit, but it's fine. It's just good. But now I can blast him. Now I'm gonna blast them. Nice. Soup. Good. It's so cheerful for. Yeah. Uh, we'll just finish the job. Into the breach. I tried getting into it. 
and it was rough on my brain. It was a rough time for my brain, but it did seem very cool. It just felt like the possibility of, of each turn, the possibility space was just really big. So it felt like every turn, I would just agonize over every single move being like, there's gotta be a better thing I can do this turn. It was just kind of a rough time. I want to make him fall back, methinks. And resupply. Honestly, I maybe I should have started capturing that. Because it's one space closer. But with these forests here, that's kind of a big difference. Fuck. Nah, it's fine. All right. If you say so, I trust you. Uh, you are going to get blown up. Uh, yeah. 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 All right. Bring you in here. Do this incredible game. Oh, FTL, yeah. Same. All right. So now I think the play is going to involve luring this guy down so that I can then at least chip off a chunk of him with this guy. But where's the best place to place him? You know? Never completed it. Nope, me neither. I spent a lot of hours in it. Never, never was successful. Uh, thanks for the hydrate. Uh, use APC as bait. I could also do that. Use infantry. I think APC might be better. Mountain's good defense. True. I can move him up into there. I could put my APC, like, here. Because then he's in blasting range there. I wouldn't be able to get him with this guy. I can move him into the forest. Tank will do a pounding mountain. will keep your infantry getting all. Problem is, I want my medium tank to be there to do damage. So I might honestly wait till next turn. Thank you for the hydrate oxen. Um, and two of them. Thank you. And three of them. And four of them. And thank you, God. God, it's always a fucking slippery slope with you guys. Thank you for the hydrates. Um, I kind of want to move them back. Move infantry along the road and go up to the mountains from there. Move them up and then into. Or you think I should engage him further down the road? Hell of a drug. Yeah. No, not not salt. Uh, thanks, dude. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Uh. Right, so hydrate that slope. So you can play with the tank easier. Let him slide further down. Meaning going further down the road. Cause yeah. Put him here. That gives us decent coverage around here. I can move him there. Uh, let's let's get one of these guys capturing in that corner there. Just like that. Now on this, okay, wait, you. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. So next turn, I can scooch someone in. Maybe, maybe you. Yeah, scooch him down here and blow him up from, from beneath. With only five HP, and he's running low. We'll see how it goes. I really do want to call him back, but I'm worried about this guy going back up to full strength. Alternatively, I can scooch him up twice. Eh, we'll see what they do. We'll see what he does. But he's in a city. All right, so we'll have decent defense. Let's, let's see. 28%, yeah. Mmm, I don't know. Although, I could do that this turn and then follow up with this next turn. Move this here. So I can blow him up next turn. Because what? Hmm. Hmm. What was the range of enemy long range? Uh, there. Bam, 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 ba down and out. Yeah, which that that's gonna pose 
That's why I need a Lord of the Medium tank away, because we basically need to bum rush that guy uh, without having tons of support. Um, might be in range of his rockets. No. That's the range of his rockets. Right? Right? Isn't that exactly what it is? So as long as I don't go on this city, we're good. Probably just three to five, which is what it's showing me right here. Check range of enemy indirect units before moving. Right. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Hit the city anti-air. Yes. Well, so that's what I was thinking. Is I can go down over here, grab him there. I won't kill him. He'll probably fuck me up a bit, which is not great. But maybe I can move in and capture one of these cities and resupply a little bit. Because we're going to run out of ammo and or maybe die. We can do nothing much. Do the thing on a rail. We're going to just try this. Got to see how this goes. Okay, good. Okay, rad. And you to here. You to here. Wait. Meanwhile, what are we doing here? Am I ready to lure him out? Probably. What's the best play? Um, if I lure him to here. So let's say I move my APC here and drop off a guy here to start capturing. That'll bring... Oh, no, he won't move. Because I need to be on the spot for him to attack me. Because he can move to there. So he'll move here. Which is not in my range yet. So let's... Scooch you here. Scooch you here. Do this. Drop you off there. Uh, move you over one. So now that's in range, and you over here, and I can move him up into the mountains or something. Main threat of the north is his tanks on the capital. Right. Yeah. I'm trying to get just the tank to, to head down here so I can take him out with a decent attack. So, so this turn, he probably shouldn't be doing anything. Yeah, he's just resupplying. Oh, he's attacking. Okay. Well, look at you. Yeah, I mean, he's from the, he's fighting in the city, so I didn't do anything to him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're in range of that. Forgot about him. Well, that's not... It's not great. I forgot he was going to be close to full and he was going to peel him off of that. Hmm. For infantry, gun swords of the bomb is looking as less valuable considering the remaining enemies. But with these guys here? I mean, I guess I can put the mech up into the mountains or something. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, I'm just going to capture something. As bait. Hey, it, it, I'll figure something out. Okay, you blow this guy up, please. You losing that? You losing that's going to hurt. Um, As long as... Yeah, that's good. Yeah, He's he's probably gonna attack my my artillery with the anti-air, right? Even if I put a guy here, to the tank. Yeah, well, I'm, yeah, take out the tank. I have to do it there. Mm. Good. Goodbye. You um. Just move here. Just move here. So whatever he does, he's gonna attack. Probably attack the art artillery, I guess. Um. Okay. All right. Here's the move. Here's the play. You you go up into the mountains. Cause why not? And now I'm gonna move the APC up one, so that brings him down. He'll attack the APC, and then I can move the tank probably around him to corner him. This one can hit from the side. And then we'll blow them up. It's gonna be great. Traded queens. Mm-hmm. It's a one-to-one -one of the origin. What do you mean? Nice strategy. I fucking hope so. I end my turn. Oh, he's attacking the mech. That's fair. Ow. Okay. Wait, no, that's what I wanted. <laughs> 
I got surprised. <gasps> I live! You fool, I live! Okay. Yeah, I don't want to get... I'm trying to remember exactly where I can go. As long as I don't take a step forward, we're, we're good. Let's just uh, do this. 29%. I like the mods. If I don't kill this thing with 29%, please God, thank you. <laughs> All right, you capture, so I can resupply here. And now we strike. Nice, good. What's the range of his rockets down here? Okay, as long as I don't go above him, which I was gonna do. I was gonna do that. I was gonna do that. Oh, I, I can, that's 0%. What was I expecting? I need this guy to do damage against them. Uh, you capture that. Move the APC first. Good thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, just, there you go. All right. Now, his butt. This maybe breaks TOS when you move a tank behind another tank. Oh, nice. Okay, we got a good roll. Cool. So now we can prepare. So we can line up. Like here. Meow. Meow. Red. And where can you... Can you go anywhere that'll be good against him? I don't know. Probably not. I might just turn that into bait. So I'll just move him forward. And same with you. Just uh, get, get over... Is that? That's that's fine. And go. Can't do anything. All right. Oh, it's just better artillery. The fury of nature. Oh, fine. Do it. Blizzard. Can move it in two of the rockets. Okay, well, that's, yeah. We, yeah, I don't think I can move it fast enough, but. I'll just probably move it into attack range at the same time as I push with a bunch of other guys and we'll see what happens. What a terrible Christmas time. <laughs> Simply, war is a wonderful Christmas time. Uh, move you. Put you on there. Sure. Um, oh, right. Yeah, that is a very annoying turn for him to do that. Hmm. Okay, well. I'll just I'll just make room. Bring you up here. And you uh you can This just mildly inconveniences me, Olaf. You think it'll stop me, it won't. But I am mildly inconvenienced, do you hear me? Uh, uh, and yeah, all right, good turn. Yeah, technology. Grand. Thanks. Just like the Cobras, just like them. Uh, okay. Do I have the distance? I sure don't, but he can't kill all of us. I can move him in here. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Woo. Yeah, woo. Time to see what it thinks is the highest priority. Uh. Yeah. What would be the most worrying seal power if it was real? Hmm. That's a good question. Is that in his range? That sure is. Oh, uh, let's move you up. You can resupply. Oh, no, you can't. Never mind. Well, you can stand next to where you'll resupply eventually. What's calling seal power? Uh, what are you imbeciles doing? Get out there, fight! Oh, no! My artillery! With his rockets. We'll take him in a fight. Woo! Are we winning? Uh, honestly, yes. This is this is the first real test, and it's going. Over. It's been slow. Yeah, but I'm getting. Buffs army by amount of money you got. 
Okay, yeah, that's that is real. Win real fight you. And finish the job. We did it. With only a lot of lives lost. Hooray. Ah, I lost Hi, Russian. Who in the world are you? <laughs> My name's Andy. I'm a CEO in the... You, the Orange Star Army, must be getting desperate to send such inexperienced CEOs onto the battlefield. <sighs> Experienced enough to get the best of you. Harumph. Be that as it may, it takes a lot to best me. I'll remember you, mark my words. Uh. How can I mark your words? I don't even know your name. My name? I am known throughout the Orange Star Army as... <laughs> Nell's grandpa? That's right, Nell's... What? No! That's what I get for being nice to children. No respect. You just watch yourself, little boy. Do we still open comms? Yeah. That's Olaf, huh? There he is. Ah. Uh. War is ah. Uh. Yeah, you really should have a line where it's like, I can't believe the orange army is utilizing child soldiers. And he's like, hey! That's a good point. Hey, Nell? Hi there, soldier. I got a fresh supply of collectibles in stock. Come on down to Hachi's shop when you're ready to do business. Look who's here. Hello again. There's some new music in stock today. Just come on down to Hachi's when you're ready to do business. Hey, me, Hachi. Remember me from before? Well, I got some new stock on offer, Captain. Okay, thank you. It's like Ender's Game for real. The enemy is down. Rat! I realize I've been reading... The Ons the Dread emote wrong this whole time. I prepared a comparison piece if you'd like to see it. You, you need a permit, Omar? Grit? Grit? Where is that lazy good for nothing? Easy there. I heard you the first time, oh bearded one. Bearded one? <laughs> Why you? I gotta turn up the game a bit. Yeah. Never mind, they're done talking. How Owns the Dread is supposed to be read, hands together in front of face. How I've read Owns the Dread for months. Mouth wide open, shadows cascade down nose and mouth. I only see the hand. Mouth wide open. Where do you, where do you see the m shadows cascade down now, nose and mouth? It's her hands? It is her- I don't- I, all I see are the hands. Nutcracker mouth. I thought it was the right- Why would you see there? I don't see what you see on the right. It just looks like the hands again. Black portion is a mouth, but you have a line in the middle of the mouth? The white cuffs look like teeth. You mean like the- like the- the finger gloves part? So if I squint, I kind of see what you mean. I think it's confusing me because you drew the one on the right with a l vertical line like the emote has. She's doing like an upset, a very tall, long, upset mouth. I see what you mean now. But to me, the vertical line separating it makes it hard for my brain to see it as the mouth. Even now that I'm like looking and I see what you're talking about, emotes are hard, yeah. I see more when it's small, that's fair. Yeah, that's interesting. Thank you. Thought she had like a nose because she was upset or something. Oh, no. That makes me Onsta Dread. Hi Onsta. Is this news to you Onsta or has anyone brought this up before? I don't think it's anything that, that needs to be adjusted about the emote, that's just fascinating to me. This is news to me. They, 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 they see it as like a very tall open mouth. Didn't realize those were hands. Yeah, no, it's 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 this, it's this. I thought it was like the the grimace emote. It's it's the same thing as Todd's dread, just from a different angle. It's it's. I mean, Todd's they're more angled for like hmm. Onsta's is like hmm. 
I saw it as a Mad Max mask. Oh. That that's wild. Sounds like a screaming nosebleed thing the whole time. No, 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 no. It's 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 the it's judging you. It's just Well now now I'm on the dreading half of chat. Hmm. Yeah, that's what that's what I forgot what this is. Owns the oh That's once though. Anyway, back to this. <laughs> Making emotes is pain. You'll spend 18 hours remixing it and then making it small and adding another line, remixing it, and then you make it public and someone's like, I don't get it. Uh, it seems to be good, computer. Um, it's holding up. It remains to be seen if the- if I get used to the rubber that it's made of. Yeah. It's the perspective. Oh, the perspective is what makes it work for me. Invisible eye. Nice vis- <laughs> I do got good- You got great emotes, Onsta. Onsta's emotes are real powerful. Also, Onsta made bar sip. No slots. <laughs> that feel when no slots. Slip of the tongue, do accept my apologies, Commander. <sighs> Just get ready to move out. Listen carefully. Orange Star Force has been deployed precisely where I anticipated. Uh-huh. Well, good. All that time spent spying on him from the inside. Sure hope you know what they're up to. Their commanding officer is an untested youngster with a smart mouth. Don't let your guard down. Our contingent in the area has some indirect combat units for you to use. Now get going, Mr. Sharpshooter. Hang on there. You want me to go personally? Like, in person personally? You lazy no good. What do you think a commanding officer does if you don't get moving? Uh... I thought a commanding officer sits in an air-conditioned office far away from the battle. Uh, keep your beard on. I don't much like the idea, but I'm going. Gone at last. Grit is an impudent rogue, but he's also the best marksman I've ever seen. <laughs> that young orange star seal won't know what hit him. Perfect. Gunfighter. A new menace has appeared to show off his range. Deploy troops carefully to combat his tactics. I will do that. Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Gunfighter. Gunfighter sounds like the name of a villain from Metal Gear on the NES. All the Andy. boss names are shit like Gunfighter. Andy! Come in, please. Uh -huh. Loud and clear. What's up, Nell? You've been given the authority to use bases to deploy new units onto the field. Now the game begins. Isn't the guy who raises Curious George? Yes. The man in the yellow hat. Need a refresher on bases? Yeah. Let's go through again quickly before the battle begins. First, move your cursor onto a base and press A. List of available units will be displayed. Use the control stick or D-pad, or plus control. But to scroll through the list, press A to select the unit you want to deploy. Units you can't afford will appear grayed out. Don't forget that. Each day, you'll receive funds from all the properties you hold. You have to make do with that amount. You can't deploy your new units and move them on the same turn. Hope you got all that. Good luck. Oh man. Yo, oh, jeez. And just like that, the game becomes impossible for me to play. Because, uh... Now the question's not just what do I do with my guys, it's which guys do I need. Which is a very different consideration. Shot maker, shoot gunner, and machine gun kid. Yeah. I know I'm right, that's why I said it. Uh... Ooh? Does he have bases? He doesn't have bases, so he can't make more guys. Well, that's cool. He's gonna run up here and capture all these guys. Can we meet them? And intercept them? And is that a good idea? Uh, eh? Defend that. 100% mechs. Mechs everywhere. Can you not build from HQ? Uh, nope. You can only build from bases. Yeah, it gives you that. Just mech flood. Cheesy's tactic. Works for me. Mech. Mech. As long as you have to fight air or sea. Hmm. Uh, His name is Ted Shackleford. What? The man in the yellow hat had a name? And it's Ted Shackleford? Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's trying to try and move in here. Not on my watch. Uh, I end my turn. 
The filthy. I mean, listen, the chat sang to do it. Possum spit. I'm gonna try it. This area wasn't even Blue Moon's to begin with. Blue Moon's just plain greedy. That's what it is. Says fighting for these folks just don't sit well with me. Well, I guess I'll just mosey on out and see what happens. What? Hello. Hmm. I am a bit concerned about this tank rolling in. It's a beefy boy. Pick up the transceiver now! Check his rocket range. Can't do. Well, now I'm here. What's going on? We've learned that Grit is the opposing CO. He's an indirect fire expert whose attack range exceeds the standard distance. Oh. Worse, his range gets even bigger when he uses his CO power. Check Grit's attack range throughout the battle. Keep at a safe distance. Okay. Hey, Nell. How do you know so much about this guy? We, um, we used to be close friends. Anyway, that's all I had to tell you. Nell out. Huh? Nell sure hung up in a hurry. Did I say something to offend her? Uh, what's, what's he doing with them rocket? Whoa. And how much bigger does it, does it get? Um. Come and use game plus one to attack range. Direct combat units suffer minus 20 to firepower. Likes cats, hates rats. Hey, fuck you, Grit. Uh, okay. So just plus one. That's not, I thought it was gonna be like plus two or three. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, they fucking. Um. Blast them. Darn tootin'. And get in there and finish the job. That's this is scooch scooch up. Scooch up. This might not go well, but you know, that's what these guys are for. Uh speaking of which, uh that's fifty-five percent. Um, that wasn't his power, that's his normal stats. That's his normal stats. That's his power. Hey, think. Plus two to attack. That, okay, now I'm scared. I literally said if it was two or three, I'd be scared. Now I'm scared. Plus 65 to firepower and plus 10 to defense. Other units gain small bonus. Okay, that's fucking bad. Uh, so... Yeah, so we can hit that closest city. How much is he charged? Can I see that? His meter is just barely full. Okay. And it shows you there which which lads get a boost. Right, long long range lads. Okay. His rockets kill whatever when his power. Yeah. So if you're in rocket range and he activates his power, you are toast. Cool. Same with this guy, but that's not as terrifying yet. His recon's probably gonna zoop in. So what what's what's the move here? Is it is it I mean from here, and at least I have one defense. Or I can go into the city for three defense. Yeah, that makes more sense. Then he's gonna attack me. Hmm. I don't want him to run away. I want I wanna I wanna murder him, but he's probably gonna run. With his full movement speed. Uh Shoot. And I kind of wanted to push these guys north to try to support these. Hang back if you have to. That's also fair. Maybe we load up. He's going to chase down the APC if it's in range. Right? Capture cities. That's why yeah, I want to go north and, and get more cities. Exactly shoot. So let's let's make it a more tempting target. Do that. Move you north and wait and just make more mechs. And my turn. No. Oh. Yep. Doing that. Can you better see power of the brave sacrifice? Once he's full, yeah, probably. Nice. Good. Can't really go wrong. Yeah, unless he captures literally everything and I don't kill anything. 
Hey, stop it. I set down face down card, two face down cards and I might turn Yugi. No, I'm in the forest. The wood. All right. And now commence a murder here. Tinker 2 is support the Lord Problem. I mean, that sounds good to me. We now have a bunch of mechs running around, so. Um, 3%. Yeah, you know, let's, let's run back. Whoop. And uh, 40%, 37%. This doesn't look great for our boys over here. Just move them, move them up. Uh, damn, they're on range. Uh, I could, I can make them come to me. Do like this. Because then, unless they attack from above. In which case, I should leave them here, actually. Yeah, that can join together. But, I think I'd leave him here. Oh, he's probably just gonna get smoked. Too much turn to get four, two rockets. Is basic of the cheese strat. How much for rockets? 15,000! Jesus. Actually, we're almost at 15,000. All right. Um. Mm, more support. And you capture this. Have inf cap left city. Infantry captured the left city. Can't we touch next turn, just my opinion. What, what, you mean starting to cap? Wait. Which city? You are you talking about the, the leftmost city? How could I capture that this turn? I don't see how I could do that. More mechs. Uh, infantry move three. Oh! Oh! Gotcha, because then they can't chase me. I understand. Thank you. Hey, right, that's a good move. Um, so now if they try to chase me down, they'll probably end up in range here, which is good. Am I building two more mechs? Uh, let's get him back up to full. Not yet, Mike. Not yet. And excuse you, I'm a I'm a gentleman. I poop in my shoes, not in my socks. The socks stay clean. Uh. Fuck it. I end my turn. Who brain you? There you go. 62 hours. That's not bad. Yes. Time to bring in the big guns. Here we go. No. 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 They really do ignore everything and just go straight for your APC, huh? Done. Okay. How close is he to his thing? He's got one third meter. So I don't have to worry about these guys just yet. They will prove a threat soon. Uh, goodbye. Not goodbye, but. Nice great redesign. It's pretty good. Capture that. Dilly -de dee. And yeah. This should take him out. Good. And you capture that. Hey, Morgan. Finishing that slip? Yeah. Thanks for finding me. Yeah, ha, ha. You found me. Um, if you are interested, I have a VOD channel on YouTube where I've backed up every stream since I started in 2018 with playlists for longer playthroughs and stuff. If you are so interested, but happy to have you regardless. 45 damage to that guy, 38 to that guy. Yep. Yeah, Probably this, because then I can finish the job next turn. And he's a bigger threat anyway. Bum, bum, bum. Thank you, Viz. And move these guys up. Up and at them. Um, yeah. North seems good. Well, I say that. But he does have rockets. <laughs> It's going to be tough to cross these mountains. I kind of need to fight my way through to the right and up, I think. 
But I just need to move them up to, to grab all these cities real quick, and then I'll probably move them back down. Uh, great and overwhelming. Well, hopefully it's not too bad. Because of the playlist. And there's monthly highlights if that's all you, you just want. The highlights, that's what that's for. Um, can I afford a bigger gun? Let's see. Um, nope. I mean, if I wait a turn, I'll have enough for rockets. So, maybe make another infantry? No, I got a million mechs. Throw that, that's good shit. Yeah, they have a, there's a shelf on the VOD channel. And as well as a place for just them. Well, yeah, game does a good job with them. I could make just the one mech. Right into your veins. Our favorite Australian. Second favorite Australian ship. Mm. One of the upcoming is good. Mm -hmm. To help on the right side of the map. Well, if I wait one turn, I can make rockets. And then I can scooch them up and then start blasting stuff from afar. Yeah, well, number one. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense to me. Number one's Broden Kelly. Okay, there's a lot of number ones. Just end my turn? Or, or rather... Well... I think I can move this guy further back, but he's probably just gonna either chase me or run away. I kind of want him to stay here so I can finish finish the jab. Yeah, fuck it. M -m -m wait. I know I should probably build something, but this is fine. I'm not trying to go for a high score or anything. Why? Why did he move there and then not do anything? Number one's George, George Lazenby is Australian? Why did he why did he do this? Do you think he was hiding? Sir? 82. Can he blast me? Not yet. I just want to leave the city open for a resupply. Because his range of the tanks. Oh. But he still would have been I don't know. Uh, let's move you here. And wait. Uh, blow you up. Nerve's got the best of them. Can the missiles hit me? Uh, good question. Probably, actually. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, let's redo the turn. Let's reset the turn. The match will return the way it was at the start of the turn. Choose reset turn. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a good point. That's a good point. I don't there's no need to blow them up for no reason. Uh yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, because I was like, oh, he can't extend yet, but he's already got a lot of range. So, instead there. That'll do. That'll do. What? Saren? Hello? The battery's low on my controller. Hey! Hey, y'all doing? Welcome. Hope you had a good stream. What was Saren up to today? Hello, hello. My name is Barry. I'm um, in the same D&D group as Saren, because I'm Dan Jones. Hello! We're playing a little Advanced Wars today. Checking out. Just came out. And they broke in the window and smashed their way in, but happy to have them. Um, I'm really bad at strategy games, so it's going great. The wall. Favorite bug. Saren is a very good bug. Uh, can I? I don't want to cap with a guy who's eight. Darn it. Darn it. Hmm. You've all been drafted. I'm sorry to say, but yeah, that's the rules. Making rain world art. Oh man, that sounds rad. Hell yeah. Hope you had a great stream. Uh, I can afford rockets now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I could have made another guy with a different thing last turn. That's fine. One of the most bugs. Maximum bug. I could make another tank. That might be nice to roll in on some of this stuff. Little fucking cat bug guy. Uh, or I could make a. Nah. Yeah. Hmm. Do it. Doing it. And I'll wait for that to get back up to full. You can hop in there. Why not? Uh, you move up. What is... Is he, is he gonna do his thing? Almost. Not quite. Here's the problem. Is I think 
before he has a seal power, I can probably move over and start trying to grab some of these guys, but he's gonna start moving out the big guns and then he's gonna get extended range and firepower. APC to sneak more guys in the range. I, I honest, yeah. Cause with the APC, I can keep it outside of their range like here and then scooch him in, drop him off and then Bleh. I I may need to draw out the tanks before I worry about the bigger guns. Gah. Well, I have rockets, so next turn I can start moving them forward. And then I'll have some support. I think I'm going to leave them for now just to, to get back up to 100% there. Meanwhile up here, I'm also thinking about what I'm going to do next. 45%. We take that. We take that. He's got not good at close combat. That's fair. I'm just very nervous about once he goes full power and blows us up. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's probably gonna try to, no, he's probably gonna keep capturing, huh? Let's, let's move you over here. Move you over here. And you forward. Any horrible mistakes? I don't know. It's why it's part of why I'm not good at strategy games is that I uh, I know I'm gonna make mistakes, but mistakes in some strategy games can compound on each other to the point where okay sir, where it's like oh that thing I did five turns ago has now come back to bite me in the ass, and that sucks. That's a bad feeling. Okay, let's do that, and you there. He gets power the more you kill his units, time it right, and you won't suffer too hard. He gets stronger when I murder him? How does that work? Um. Damn it. Ah, whatever. Thank you, doing great. Thank you. I, mean, I haven't lost yet, but I shouldn't be stressing this hard about basically tutorial missions. Hey, this guy's nine. Nah, might as well. It'll take an extra turn, but that's fine, because it'll take me turns to just get these guys up there and grab the rest of those. Uh, you! You, you, you. If I move you up here, are you in... Are you in range of anything? Once he gets his super juice, then maybe? He gets two extra spaces? So that... Look. So that's... So this tank, these two guys are in danger when he has super juice activated. Yeah, that and then that right city is also in harm's way. Hmm. Yeah, he's got he's got some powerful juice. So let's just move you up here. Hmm. Offensive access to throw the multiplayer modes. I mean, that's true. If it's a well done campaign, then they're just showing you different scenarios to then help you be better at the game. But I still stress about it, man. I'm going to move forward. I might use the APC to lure out his tank and try to run away. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know. I don't have a great plan for that. Um, How much do they cost? He drowned them in APCs. They're 5,000. They're not that bad. And they have good movement speed. We can make it one more. Uh, and then... Maybe hold off and get more money. Super juice. I think these guys... I mean, I can move them down. Sir, what are you doing? He's at two-thirds. So we're fine here for now. I think we sit tight. I can move you... Up one I might try to move him into those forests there and you can also be scooched forward yeah absolutely no 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 you just supply sure all right I am my turn Betty's apparently incredible well yeah because you're you're as Sun Tzu once said you know if you make them fight on terrain that you choose then sometimes 
that helps unless they have better weapons, then it's not really going to help you too much, you know? He... That's what he said. So true. <laughs> so true. Damn it! He's so slow. Why am I... Why did I make mechs? Okay. That's fine. You can head back down. Because I could push them right, but A, they'll be annihilated before they get across, and B, even if I do get over there, he'll just send guys over there, kill me, and then come back. So it's not... I'm not going to do anything. So just have to head back down here. Bring this guy up. All warfare is based. <laughs> that's, that's what he said. Uh... Another artillery would be nice, or I save. I just can build another rockets next turn. That might be nice. The arts of advanced war. Um. So that's in range there. Hmm. So the only way I can bait out the tank is to also be in range of these guys. There's no way I move something in that doesn't get blown up. Right? Unless there's something I'm missing. Because each one of these guys has a one adjacent square window around them. But there's no there's no spot I can go to that only the tank can reach. Get a Vade extender on your armor and abuse the iframes. I'm just ahead of his time. So the move may be just make an army and then wall and then rush and uh uh yeah just don't go north at all Ugh. oh man mm. gets the thing a little as a treat you yeah. just gotta rush i think i just gotta rush him so i'm gonna wait one more turn build up another rockets at which point he'll probably fire off his command power but Use two tanks to kill artillery and make new tanks to replace them. Could do that. Because I can rush in and bop him. That'll send this tank in and I'll get fired at. But if I send in a second tank as a support... So how far forward can I go without being bopped? I can move forward two more spaces. I can go to here. Without him activating his nonsense. So I think... Actually, if I move rockets, what, he, how, how is he gonna... So he'll be able to hit that square. So I don't want my rockets there. You jerk! How dare you make me use my brain this much in a game that's labeled strategy and I knew what I was signing up for. Well, yeah, if I can get two tanks in there, because that's 70%. So two tanks can rush in, that'll blow up one of them. And I'll draw this guy down maybe somewhere that's in firing range, but... I still don't want to do that on this turn because I can't reach them both with the same thing. Okay. Down there. Yeah. Wait, I was going to move you down here. I don't really know why. I, I, just to try to capture anything, if I can, having some ground units will be nice. I guess that's what you're for more so. But you have to wait till there's room. It makes me less stressed when it's his turn, though, because it's just nice. Okay. All right. Got it. Finish that. Good. And this. Now we'll be getting a lot of good moolah per turn. You can move down. Move him over. Uh, how, how is he? Okay, so he's still chilling. Um... GG Easy No Re. Mm hmm. Common theme in these games. Yeah. So probably go after this guy. He's, at, he, oh, he's in the city for enhanced defense. We can still take him out with two guys. Um. Ah. Well, that's a problem. Right. So. So. So what I could do is hit him from this side and then from the bottom, and just assume both will get blown up. 
But I think I think that sounds better. Yeah, because he's in striking range, so. Here we go. Also, why am I stressing? As people pointed out, I almost can't lose this. <laughs> I can just keep grinding money. He doesn't have any infantry left, so all he can do is make less money, and he can't make new units anyway, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So, it's fine. Um, I feel you though. It's still stressful. So if I scooch you up to here, now that's in blasting range. And maybe even if this guy comes in and starts messing stuff up, we have room. Uh, now if I move you there, is that bad? That's a bad idea. We wait. We wait. Move you up maybe a little bit. And, and I, I, I mean, I could I could go for some bait, but it seems like a bad idea. Okay. Okay. Move you up. Move you, move you up. Move you up. And... Okay. What if I don't get an S rank? I don't care about S rank. <laughs> for me, uh -oh. finishing the fight is the S rank. This is going to be a long battle. It's, it's going to take a bit. Yeah, you're going to fire at me. That's fine. Ow! Yes! Good! Let your hate, etc. Now... Rockets! The first... Do this... Stomp it! And, uh... 56%, 38. So that's not going to do it. Or we guarantee this guy's out of the way. And just having some room to maneuver down here will be nice. Me thinks. Me sometimes thinks. Don't forget your ABC is always been constructing. True. But I wanted to wait. Oh, I could have built last turn. I was like, I'm going to build more rockets. And then I forgot that was the turn I was going to build more rockets. That's... I mean, I'm not going to out-rocket his rockets. That's fine. Before we lose people, we're going to loose them. They will be loose. I can make a new medium tank. That sounds kind of good for rushing in and messing them up. Let's do that. Do that. Um, so. God damn. This, this guy right here is just... Man. Uh, it's just a regular tank. It's not a medium tank. He only has the one medium tank up here. So I shouldn't be too worried about him. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. If you build three rockets, you can't kill them all. It's true. If I move them in the position on the same turn. I like the snare drum that comes in during that. 80%. Is there anyone else who could possibly get there? No. So if I move up to here... Yeah. So as long... I mean, he's gonna move next to me, so that's actually not good. Now I think about it. I could blast him, make him run away. No. No, I'm committing. I'm committing to my decisions. Bait with APC. I could do that as well. I have an empty APC. I could just send in. Um, like this one. Let's do this. Start that capturing. Do that, and then might as well do the same thing, but over here, and and drop drop you there. Now, I'll probably go after that APC, but who could say? Uh, move you down. He's charged. Is he charged? On the goddamn turn where I don't. Oh, he's charged. So, he's gonna probably fire. He probably is gonna fire on, on both APCs then. Oh no, that guy's in range. Dang it, the guy in the city. Well. This is going to be interesting. I am my turn. He'll go for the rockets. 
Yeah, I guess we'll see. Sorry to have to do this, but you've left me no choice. No, that's fine, Grit. Whoa! Snipe attack. He's pointing! He's going for the APCs. Good thing I unloaded it first. <laughs> no, he's good. He's good. Look, they have helmets on! No! No, they had helmets on! Oh, he's going for the tank. Because that's the only guy in range of that one. That's exactly what I expected. Ooh, he lives! He's alive! And he's going for the other APC. That's good. No, that's fine. I can make more. Cool. All right, now I'm not scared of the impending doom threat of his CO power hanging over me. We can probably get some... Oh, shit, that's good timing. Might have some guys down. I'm not doing a lot of attacking this turn, though. Does it make sense to save the seal power? I might as well just heal these guys up and... mess them up. All right? Yeah, easy. I'm all ripped up. I mean, it's like I could wait to use that until I'm actually charging at him for the final push, but... Repair. Might as well just... Yeah, they healed up a little bit. Yeah, woo. Yeah, woo. Uh, great. Damn it. Damn it. Well, the good news is I'm not going to do anything this turn. <laughs> what a nice young man he is. I know. He's, he's something, ain't he? Uh, yeah, we have, oh god. Operation Make a Million Mechs might not have been the best use of our time early on, but it's okay. Can mechs attack the tank? Uh, yeah. Or can you, he can't, oh, if I move the APC out of the way. Yeah, I guess that'll probably take him out if we're lucky. Get him! Okay, good. Move you... Scoot you back here. Mm, yeah. Okay, good. And you can safely retreat. Right, because this... That's just for this turn. That's not going to be that bad this turn. Next turn. Wait, I moved my APC into... Yeah. Hmm. We can make a new one. Uh, as for the rest of you, what is your range? Covers those. Uh, wait, but I won't soon. This guy's just going to become bait, I think. I just now want to move him forward. But he's going to outrange me no matter what. Because that's his passive. That's the proper attitude for strategy games. What? Just, uh, fuck it? We're just gonna run guys in and see what happens. Eh. And you can scooch back to like here. I just wanna run him back to hopefully recharge. Just keep making dudes. What dudes should I make? Probably just tanks at this point. Cause he's got a big boy tank. That hopefully I can get in range of my missiles and then light them up. Medium tanks, yeah. And then just charge them down and get the last couple guys. So I can make one medium tank this turn. And then that's my turn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Fuck, I see happens, I can rewind in that. Yeah, no, you can rewind the entire turn. No! They have helmets on, they're gonna be fine. Uh, I thought the helmets were gonna work. Good turn. Good turn. Uh, okay. Can you make, yep. Good. Wait. Damn it. 
Okay. And what is your normal age? Okay. And what's my range? My range is three to five. So I have to move up to... At which point I'm comfortably within his range. So that's not great. And what is this guy's... Okay. Hmm. Hmm. This is, this is, this is something. Well, if I move you here, if I bait the tank down, then he'll be in blast in range of this guy. Andy the Child Soldier. Stop it. Same with you. Just move you, move you back here for now. Gotta lure him onto the bridge and then blow him up. That's the strat now. All right, just this one tile is bad news. Uh, eh? Meh? Alright, we're, we're good, we're good. Um, as for the rest of you, I don't know, man. What are all you guys doing? Probably make some more APCs. At least the, the one. You get in there. And... He can't murder everyone one turn. That's the idea. I think I'm just gonna save up for another medium tank. And just try to line them all up. God, these guys are so slow. That's what APCs are for. Alright. It's a war of attrition! Good turn. So I can scooch you here and you can go here. Yeah. You can go here. Wait, you go here, wait, you go over here, and wait, you over there, wait, you scooch. Um, as for these guys, I think these guys are set there, you can come back. Only one size re- yeah, it's a war of attrition that I'm almost guaranteed to win, unless I- I- how could I lose at this point? I don't want to jinx anything, but honestly, how could I lose? Even if I run everyone into a meat grinder and they all die, I would just get enough money to resupply and rebuild it. It would just take a very long time. Even poo brain. I guess if I if I was making the wrong kind of units and just ran them in single file and let them get annihilated, then that would do that. But spam end turn, yeah. That would do it. Good. Okay. Power outage? Yeah. Well, it's the switch, so I, the stream would stop, but then the switch would keep on trucking. Uh... Alright. Should I... drop you off? I think I wanna... I'm gonna wait. Let's, let's supply. I think what I'm gonna do is move the APC up to then bait the tank down so he's in range. And I'll move the APC up somewhere where I can then drop off my guy. Cause, cause that... Yeah, ideally I'd be able to bring him up here, but then he's not in range of this guy. Oh man. And I think I'm gonna move the missiles up to start firing on this guy. Deadlines in later fights. Well, in later fights they can resupply as well, so you, you can't just do this all day. You have to move in. And take them. This should rocks before moving the tank. Right. But he shouldn't be able to one-shot my rockets with his rockets, right? Right? Uh, what am I making? More medium tanks. More medium tanks. Yeah, woo. Okay. All right. Uh, where can you go? Anywhere? Is there anywhere that you can go that's useful right now? 
I don't think so. I mean, I guess I can move him up here. Wait, that's got to be in range of this guy. Yeah, never mind. Uh, okay. His rockets are a lot better. That's true. Well, they might blow up. We'll see. Later battles have stakes. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I feel like I should have maybe left a couple guys up here and <laughs> tried to lead these guys further away. Okay, uh... All right, uh... Hey, just feeling... Music's got me feeling so free. So, I think now we go. I think now we go. What makes sense? It was my... Does my idea make sense? You can't... Okay. Uh... I need to have the tank land here. So that means... No one else can attack him except my artillery. That sucks really bad. Unless... If I move guys through and land him on, like, up ahead, leave him an opening to chase down my APC, then I can hit him from the back. Unless my rockets murder me first. Yo, Michael, it's, you know, I'm bad at this game. So it's, it's bumpy. Yeah, I can move to the city here. Pop him for a sec. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing good, dude. I'm really bad at Advanced Wars, but I'm having fun. You're doing great, thanks. Th this makes sense to me. He sits there. This guy moves... Moves up one... To here. And then APC... Up to here. I can go ahead and drop you there. Because, I don't know. He can cross the river or something. Uh... You can go up. Let's well, gonna start getting hit by this guy. No, that's out of his range. Okay, good. That's great. And move these guys up. Uh, all right. Let's -a go. Let's let's -a fucking go. Uh, this, this is a great strategy. I should probably be building stuff. I should probably be building stuff. Yeah, I hit my APC. See what? Wait, he's hitting it with the rockets the way that chat said he would. <gasps> he lives! The helmet's worked! Yeah! You you fell for my ruse! My bridge ruse! It's They escaped. If you look closely, they jumped out of the APC before it blew up. Because I knew it was going to blow up. And I told them, and they knew the plan. Okay. Now then. Uh, let's, let's go. I can't, I can't hit, he, he's not, he's not where, I don't know why I thought that. Okay, hit him with 55, good, great. They dived on the landmines. Uh, the landmines were actually propellants that cushion you in a bubble, and then they send you off to safety, so. It's actually gonna work really well. And now he's dead, great! That was the biggest threat. We're good. The time of panic is over, the time of victory is at hand. Now then, scooch you the fuck into here. 105% sounds good to me. Don't know about you, 105%. Brad, you hopefully have range. Nope. But that's within your zone. So, move you here. The small tank's gonna come to us, but actually let's park him in the city for more defense. Wait, no, because then I'm inside of his range. <laughs> Shit. Uh, we'll just... That's fine. That's fine. Uh, and then you... Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I could put him... No, I can't reach that. Shoot. Uh... If I put him here... Wait, here... Can I go up? One, two, three, four, over two. One, two, one, two, three, four, over two. No. But I can move him up. I can move him here. I'm in his range, but you know. Just fuck, we'll just see what happens. I'm stealing your base. I'm in your base, killing your mans. 
or whatever the old meme is. I can't reach it. No. He can't kill us all, man. Let's go. Uh, uh, yeah. Single file now. How far can you go? Not enough. Uh, yeah, rush across the river. Uh, plug it. He might not attack that guy. Who knows? All right, lit little tank ago. I'm in your base killing your dudes. That, that I feel older just having said that and read that. Um, let's let's make. I don't know. Missiles, rockets. It does. Missiles are good for air units. Rockets are good for. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'll make another APC. I'll make another tank. I have two APCs. That's what I meant to do. Whatever. Make some anti-air. He might have some helicopters I don't know about. Sticks and twigs. I didn't see that one coming. No, my missiles. So the thing that's actually the smallest threat to you, not the tanks. I mean, you can do a lot of damage to them, so fair. I think you can go right the tanks. Oh, good. That's what the tank is for. Oh, because he... That, so the AI is like, what can I murder? Whereas for me, I'm like, if I weaken him, he might run away. The, the AI is like, I just want to take out a unit. I don't care about weakening several units. That makes sense. Because that's more punishing to you as a player. Uh, sure. Yay. And blow you up 73%. That's it. That's it. Yeah, whatever. They have the bloodlust. Sure they do. Priority targeting. Well, they really hate APCs. That much seems to be obvious. Beyond that, no. Am I gonna have to do another turn or can I murder this man now? Uh, okay. Can the other guy get across the river? I think he can. Oh, baby! It's done! Yay! Andy, you're a real child soldier now. Congratulations. Hey there, Junior. Nice shooting. Don't call me Junior! I have a name. It's Andy. That's the spirit. Y'all are new to the Orange Star Army, right? <sighs> Maybe. How would you know that? Well, all right. That's cause I'm grit. I was beholden to Orange Star not too long ago myself, so I'm pretty familiar with most of the military types. Well... Y'all beat me this time. Who knows? Maybe we'll see each other on the flip side. So long, Junior. That's not my name. That's not my name. Big Wrench. Stop calling me Junior. Bam, bam. He's a turncoat. Well, Nell implied that they had a, um... A fraternization prior to the war. He was beholden, now he's be letting go. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Hey there. Hi, Hachi. I got a fresh supply of collectibles in stock. Come on down, Hachi Shop, and you're ready to do business. Hey, thanks. Stop calling me Barry. It's not my name. Wait, it is. Never mind. Keep calling me that. Well, now. What have we here? Uh, hello. Sounds like you record your lines in a telephone booth. Hi. Orange Star Forces, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, I never am. I'd heard the Blue Moon Army ruined them, but... How interesting. I think I'll entertain them for a while. Is that someone true? Why does this audio sound worse than it normally does? Choose the black hole one? Yeah, sure is. Air Ace. Oh god, Air Battles. I like that effect on the audio when you back out. Change. Oh, you can change the difficulty whenever you want. That's nice. What does Hachi have in store? Literally. Uh, can I buy more PNGs? Whoa. Warning. Advanced Wars 2 Black Hole Rising campaign contains content that may reveal secrets of the Advance Wars campaign's plot. We recommend you clear Advance Wars campaign before continuing, would you like to continue anyway? Oh! This is excellent, and every game should do this that has something like this in it. 
where you can just access it right away, but if there's a pop-up being like, we, we want you to do the first one first, but you can't just dive into two. It would be nice if maybe that was a little bit more clear from this UI, but hey, that's cool. Doing this option. That's nice. Uh, hot Look who's here. My favorite child soldier's back again. How familiar are you with grit? You know, the lanky fella in a yellow coat. <laughs> He's an expert marksman. In fact, when it comes to striking foes from a distance, the man has no equal. Because he's so good at attacking from afar, he never quite polished up his direct combat skills. And that right there is his weakness. Uh -huh. All I'd say is a pretty good choice when it comes to COs. Best to use him in battles where he can protect his long distance units. Let's get down to business. Enough about that guy's time for business. So can I buy him? No. That that was set up to me like, oh, now he's available to purchase from the store, but he's not he's not in there. I don't know what I was expecting. It's war. Olaf. I'm by Olaf. Good choice. Thanks. Knock him down out there. That's, I didn't mean that. Look who's here. Hi. The war. The CEOs love to talk. They're a bunch of chatterboxes. Might be good to pay attention, listen closely. Some of us are They're all but say their strategy when they have a change of plans. Right. Not me, though. I never talk too much. They never hear an unnecessary word out of me. Yep, yep, yep. That's all other CEOs do. But me, I keep things short. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Hachi. Grit. Yeah, give me grit. All right. So, to the only better. I don't know why I'm looking at these. They did not unlock anymore, it seems. Goodbye. Bye. What are you buying? What are you buying? Do I look like... God, every time. I mean, the, the, that is objectively the best me pose you can set for your profile pic on the Switch, but man... I'm not used to seeing it just jump up like that. Uh, yeah, woo. Yeah, woo. These are cute, but man, I, I was really hoping it was going to be like behind the scenes, like concept art and character poses and stuff like that. This is it's, it's extremely whelming <laughs> to just have the, that be the, like this is kind of shit you would imagine is on the website. Just for free, not in-game currency. Especially for Doc Tech. Mm-hmm. They've been whelmed, I say. Well. Trade sharing custom. Neat. Well, um, I did say it needed to be a short stream, and at the rate that I'm very slowly trudging through these levels, it would take me quite a while to get through the next one. But this is fun. It's good. It means advanced wars. So. Bum, 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 bum. I didn't know he was in it. I wanted to check it out because I played the original one, and it's good. And I'm excited to play this. So, thank you. You can change the menu background? Thank you, Park. Appreciate it. Um. Uh, view? There's, there's no other. Will I play more? Don't know. Um. If I stream on Sunday, that's also going to be a shorter stream. So I could possibly come back and do more, or we'll do something else. Maybe in settings? What settings? Saying it ought to be that, not that it is, sorry. Oh, gotcha. I see what you're saying. You, it, you, it would be nice if you could. Yeah, I agree. It's, uh... Yeah. It'd be cool if you could... I mean, the art is very cute, but it, that would make the, the gallery have more utility, because, like, oh, you can customize it or whatever. But, anyway. Uh, Lil Aug, thanks for 14 months. Welcome back. Fahrenheit, Saren. Thanks again for the raid. Everyone, you should shout out shout to Saren. They're great. Uh, uh, shout out Fahrenheit. Uh, Saren is, is in our D&D our &D group, and they do really good art and real comfy chill streams. Definitely recommend throwing them a follow. Uh, SRAD, thanks for 62 months. That's a lot of months. That's my line. That's a lot of months. Invader Zimmer, thanks for 69 bits. Playing Civ 5 on my other screen. This feels right. Uh, strategy and Forsaken Sunday. Thanks for 11. Thanks for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you. We're gonna find someone to raid. Uh, I know it's a shorter stream than usual, uh, but I hope it was fun regardless. Thank you for hanging out. Have a great weekend, everyone. Um, bum ba bum 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 ba da ba 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 bum ba bum 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 ba 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 bum bum. Convince me to get a copy tomorrow. It's crispy boot. Yeah, glad to hear. Hope you enjoy it. It's VODs with an S. I should probably make VOD singular and alias. Uh, we're gonna raid Rebeccaroni. 
doing some Pokemon Infinite Fusion, which I've been seeing Onsta doing a bunch of. Which is always the time. Don't embarrass me like this, Mubat. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. Hope you all have a great rest of your evening or day or whatever and have a good weekend. Um, maybe back. There is a slight chance I may not stream on Sunday. So I'll post any updates to both the Discord server, which you can join, by the way. And also, um, I try to update the uh, the on Twitch schedule. There's a little widget on the about page as well as the built-in schedule thing. So if I cancel stream, I'll update on there as well. Uh, but hopefully I still will stream. It might just be a shorter one. Is it going to play the intro again? God, this intro is so good. What's our raid message for Reb? Oh, God, the control is rumbling. Shit. Quick chat. Think of a raid message. Uh, that's a good raid message. More is fun. <laughs> what about, what about, what about, what about, uh? What about UHH? That's a, that's a potent raid message right there. Uh. <laughs> anyway, go say to rep. They're great. Go, 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 go check out the stream. Uh, thanks for hanging out. I got nothing else. Goodbye. Get the hell out of here. I'm done streaming. Bye. VOD Watchers. I hope you enjoyed this brief taste. I can already see the comments from here. Wow, I can't believe he only did like two levels in four hours. Uh, I did preface by saying I'm not good at these games. I hope it was fun regardless. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Hope you're doing well. Be well. Bye. Goodbye. See ya. Woo.